It is live at the fair, the 2014 edition, Leonard. Oh my, 2014. 14. Can you believe that? How long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for a long time, Leonard. Oh my God, Good put her there. You. Put her there. Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a beautiful evening out it's here. It's a beautiful yeah. rainy yeah. evening, and oh. this is like the first time it's rained ever during yeah. the fair. Yeah, we've done this, and we can sit here and talk yeah. and enjoy life. And yeah, we're enjoying yeah. the shower. So what what have you liked best about the fair? I tell you, this has been a perfect fair. This yeah. year, the weather has been perfect. I tell you, I've been eating lots and lots of food. We've talked Did about that chicken? before. No, I didn't get to eat the chicken. Oh, the no. line, it was the past, it was, was wonderful. It was past the pool. Oh, the line, I think they broke a record this year. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 Pork chops on oh. Monday night and Sunday night. You're getting me hungry again. Somebody uh, bring us food. I'm telling you, it's the stop this What do you got next to you? We have uh, Bill Cox. Bill Hello. Cox. Bill Cox is here. Bill, how you doing? I'm all right. Bill, do you like the fair? I love the fair. I've come here every year since I was five years old. Since you've been, so that's only been a couple years. That's right. That's right. My dad was the electrician here with, along with his brother-in-law when I was five years old. So. Wow. Now, wow. Bill, you're running for a public office. Yes, I am. Okay. What are you running for? Harrison Township trustee. And where is Harrison Township? Tell us. Harrison Township is the second largest township in the county. Uh, it starts at 20th Street and goes to the county line. East and west, uh, uh, I really can't tell you what the boundaries are, but it's uh, uh, pretty big. The same as uh, Connorsville Township, just uh, Connorsville a little bit bigger. Well, just a little bit. Tell us yes. what a township trustee does. Well, there's uh, several issues. The township, uh, first of all, has to follow the state law. He has to uh, do what the people want him to do. Uh, there's poor relief, uh, there's uh, burying the indigent, uh, settling uh, fence disputes, and uh, uh, making sure there's no real poisonous uh, weeds in the county. So you do a lot of things that a lot of people don't know about. I'm sure of that, and uh, before I ran for this office, I had to educate myself because I didn't know either. What you decided to, what, what was your, I, I gotta do this, what was the deciding factor on you getting to run for this office? Well, I'm a Democrat. And uh, the Democrat needed a, a, a worthy candidate for this position. I feel like that I'm very well qualified for it because I was a Connorsville police officer for 28 years. I was a uh, special deputy United States Marshal for 10 years in court security. I believe that my qualifications are uh, uh, very, very good, and I believe that I can do the job. So uh, uh, I retired in 2008 and uh, not satisfied with retirement, and I want to work. So here I am. What are, what are some other things you do in the community, Bill? I'm a member of the Lions Club. Member of the Lions so, Club. A member of the Lions yeah, Club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we well, saw the Lions. Yeah. dinner at the, yeah. uh, at the fair yeah. here. And uh, I'm a Gideon. Gideon, that's and, good. Uh, Baptist Temple. That's good. Temple. Yeah. And I'm as active as, uh, as I can be here in the community. That's wonderful. Anything you want to say to the people before we go on to our next candidate? Obviously, since I'm running for political office, I want the uh, community, especially those in Harrison Township, to vote for me. Vote Thank for you. Bill Cox. God bless you, Bill. You bet. Absolutely. Leonard, I Thanks for coming by and seeing us. All right. Thank and you very enjoy much. Enjoy the fair. Yes, enjoy. Eat some 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 good food. I mean, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Leonard, you know, talking to Bill, I'm sure it reminded you of the time when you first ran for oh, office many, many years my, ago. My, You're... My. Yeah, I, I, I'm so glad I don't have to run. I, yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm excited. Yeah, you know, and, and, and again, if you want to ask some hard questions, whisper in my ear and I'll be okay. more than happy okay. to and you'll, ask you'll ask the questions. I'll ask the tough ones. Okay. If you want okay. me to ask the tough ones. And we got somebody oh, right here. Oh, John Bodwell. John Bodwell. Yes. John Bodwell. Running for prosecutor. Oh, I thought you were Hey, how are you? I know, are you? you. I know you. Good to yeah, see you good again. To see you. Yeah. Yes, sir. You look yeah. sharp tonight. Well, what's the C for? I think that's Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds. They've been yeah. playing. Yeah. You know, we turn that inside out. Trying to turn around. You know what? I thought that was saying Connorsville. Oh, well, it could it be. Could be. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. Connorsville's red, too. That's Connorsville's right. Red the high too. school. Everything is, right. Everything's red. It is oh, for Connorsville. Oh. Exactly. And, and I'm sure red, is that Republican or what are you? Democrat. Talking? Democrat. Oh. Democrat. Yeah, okay, Democrat. Okay, I'm wrong. I, well, yeah. you never know. Sorry. That's true. That's well, true. Well, sometimes Democrats wear red. That's right. They wear red, too. I have a blue car. Yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, what office, John, are you running for? Prosecutor. Prosecutor. Oh, man. I don't want to be prosecutor. I don't want to be on that side. don't want to be that side, man. Obviously, an attorney. You've been an attorney in this town for how long? Forty-three years. Forty-three oh, years. Oh, wow. Forty-three. Would that embarrass if I told him that I'm forty-three? Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Prosecutor, what, after forty-three years, have you ran before? Is this your first time in the it's first time ever running for a public office in Fayette County? Yeah, um, but you were a deputy prosecutor. Yes, I was the yeah. chief deputy yeah. prosecutor in the seventies. And I'm from so seven, old I remember it. You remember that, I don't remember. you? From yeah. seventy-two to seventy-eight. So yeah. after well, uh, thirty. Six years later, you decide I'm throwing. I'm going for the big shot. Well, I'm just want to make a little comeback here and try to 
help our community in getting issues uh, corrected. What are some of those issues that you would Schools, like to see corrected? Schools uh, in particular are having problems with their student uh, people showing up for school, tardiness, failure to complacency. Uh, the parents are failing to get their kids to school and I think it's time that the prosecutor's office spend more time because uh, if you don't get these children to school they become our juvenile delinquents and then they become uh, criminal defendants later. Tell us how the prosecutor can do this. How can the prosecutor... There are statutes that have been passed by the state legislature that enforce school attendance and if they fail to appear uh, you can talk to their parents uh, and uh, correct it very easily. However, you have to take the time to do that and get them in so that they understand that they are the ones responsible. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Uh, well, you know, I deal with the policemen a lot, and the policemen are always telling me, we arrest these people and the next day they're on the street. So what do you got to say about that? That's about bonds. Bond. Yeah. Yeah, people are entitled to bond unless they commit a capital offense or an offense that's uh, so egregious that uh, the bond uh, by the is set by the judge and the courts raise those bonds accordingly. Yeah. Wow. How about this plea bargaining? Is, is, is that something that's good or bad? Well, plea bargaining is a necessity only because we don't have the capacity to handle all the people in the courts. There are very, there's many, many people that commit crimes. There, there's probably at least a thousand felonies and wow. uh, Superior Court handles uh, a couple thousand criminal cases. So yeah. that's a year. Yes. That's yeah. unbelievable. So uh, you know you have with economic times being what they are, and having more people uh, on uh, certain uh, drugs uh, creates more crime. Okay, I'm going to have a tough question for you. you All right. Whisper to me. No, I'm going to just lay it on the line. Lay it on the line, Leonard. What makes you think you'd be a good prosecutor? And you tell that camera right there. Well, I've had 43 tell experience right with the law. I understand what it's all about, and it's time to make those corrections that are necessity to any community that's struggling. And our community is struggling, and I think I can make a difference. Okay. Thank you for coming along. Hey, tonight. thank you. Hey, John, Thanks for having me. John Did you like 43 years. What do you oh. think of the fair? Oh, the fair's fair excellent. Did you eat chicken? I've had. I've been up here every night. You know, so, you would think that you so made I've the had chicken. I think Kelly's been here every yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for Thanks having for me, guys. Out. God bless okay. you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Very much. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Running for prosecutor. Prosecutor. Later. Yeah. That would be a tough job. Oh, I never want to run up against prosecutor. No way. I don't think I could ever. You know, these political offices. People don't understand. Oh, look here. Look here. We're surrounded by beauty. Oh man. Look at that. Powerful Look statement, at this. but I like this you know, much. You know, you know who this is? I don't know. What's your name? You know where she works? Where do you work at? Tell them where you work. I'm Maddie Rose, and I work at Brian's Bookstore. That's store. Maddie. Yeah, Maddie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maddie and who are you? Brian. You look just like your mother. Who are really? you? Oh, my. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, and no, who are you? No, it's your father. <laughs> oh, aren't they gorgeous girls? Emily Stein. Emily. McKenna. Oh, Mc, man. Just McKenna? Is that just McKenna? Just, I'm just McKenna. I'm like Cher. I'm like Madonna. I'm just McKenna. I, I'm believe, so what do you, you girls are dancers, right? Dance Cheerleaders. Cheer, sorry. Is, is it, sorry. So tell me, uh, I was going to call you Jamie. I'm sorry. It's Maddie. Well, it's, it's like Maddie. talking to her mother. She's just like her mom. Tell me something, Oh, Maddie. she's prettier um, than her mom. I think so. Oh, yeah. I think so. Don't tell her we oh. said that, okay? Yeah. So tell me something, Maddie. Uh, what got you into being a cheerleader? Um, well, I really, I'm really energetic. I, I don't, I just, my mom's always been cheerleading and I love it. Pass yeah. it down to family? Yep. Tell me. I love cheerleading. I so love pointing, pumping up my team. Yeah. My mom got me started. Really? I grew up with you thought you, my mom got. So it's like, oh, I had Your to do it. Your mom got you started as a cheerleader. I, I wanted, but Leonard, I couldn't do the splits. Oh. Uh, and I can't <laughs> dance either, and I, uh, I can't rah rah. Tell me about it. Let me duck so that way you can be seen. My mom cheered, and then I just like supporting our team. Good, 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 good. Uh, and uh, one name. My mom didn't cheer, but <laughs> <laughs> I just like cheerleading. Good for you. Good for you. Well, I'll tell you, if they were cheering for me, I could hit a basket. Oh, I could. Oh, I know I could. I could but you notice little Maddie? Yes. She takes care of us down at Brian's Bookstore. She pours her <laughs> coffee, Aww. and she gives us apple pie, or she charges us. Well, she, yeah, yeah, you got to pay for that apple well, pie there, yeah. Leonard. we got to have a little plug for Brian's Bookstore. got to have a little plug. Just a yep. little bit. If you want to see Maddie Rose, go to Brian's Bookstore. <laughs> Where do you, anybody here else work? No? no. Well, how do you live if you don't work? <laughs> Nobody. Maddie's yeah. the only one that's... I'm the only one. Her parents are making her work. Yeah. Yeah. What, what other things do you guys like doing besides cheerleading? I golf. You golf? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
softball. I dance and play soccer. Okay. okay. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Um, just cheer. Just cheer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one That's name, good. one uh, thing. Can you do the splits? Can you? Can cheer? I do the splits? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. I can do them, but I can't get up. That's <laughs> right. So, okay. do you guys got anything exciting going on this year? Is there yeah. camps going on? Are you guys going to any exciting places? Or? Actually, we just all went to cheer camp over the summer at Miami, and we all tried out for All American, and all of us made it. Hey, oh. applause! Let's have hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> Everybody, come on! Yeah. Come on! Come on! Um, yeah. Abby and Sydney will be going to Philadelphia for the uh, Thanksgiving parade, and McKenna, Emily. Me and Casey will be going to London oh, what? for the oh. New Year's parade. Can you guys do your English accent? Can you practice? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Wave like that uh -huh. when you're there in London. Oh, yeah. And you gotta yeah. drink tea. Drink yes. tea in England. And crumpets. Oh, tea wow. and crumpets. Yeah. Yeah. Really crumpets. At three o'clock. Yeah. At three yeah. o'clock. That's right. Yep. Three o'clock. That's, yep. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Me and Leonard do that every day. <laughs> yeah. So we are raising money to go on our trips, and right now we're at the dunk tank at the fair from six to ten. Abby just got dunked. Oh. Abby, you could tell Abby just got slammed. <laughs> and not, the rain came through and you were already wet. Hey, if you just got dunked, would you be that pretty? No, not at all. <laughs> you know better than that. And we're also having a garage sale on Grand Avenue on August 16th, so come by. And we're also doing a superhero day for little kids at the Miller Building. And we'll be doing lots of other fundraisers, like a candle sale. And what else are we boot doing? Drive. A boot, boot drive. drive. Yep. Is there a Facebook page? Candy Is bars. there a website that you guys can go to? Actually, yeah. A few of us have Facebook links on our Facebooks that um, you can donate money to on fundraisers. Yep. Yeah. Fundraiser. So. Uh, you know, I'm Anything noticing your helps. coach over there. Is that your coach over there? No, that's Sydney's mom. Oh, Sydney's mom? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's your mother? Or she no, she no, looks, okay. she looks yep. like a cheerleader. I think she is. I remember when she... <laughs> Cheer mom. That's your, um, that's my baby. That's your baby. That's... Yeah. Uh, you kids grow too fast. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so you guys have lots of things. Give a shout out to your coaches. Who are your coaches? Jenny Mitchell and Ashley Mitchell. They're your coaches. That's yep, good. they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> any questions there, Linda? You got any well, hard-hitting questions I for see them? Maddie every day, yeah. you know, and uh, <laughs> she even knows my name. Yeah, she even, yeah. she knows what you get. Oh, yeah, she knows yeah. what I eat. Next time getting some tea and crumpets. And Cherry pie. Oh, don't tell everybody about the cherry pie. You know? Sorry. Better you weigh yourself every day. You're, I do. You're fine. I weigh every day. <laughs> hey, every girls, day. you know it's wonderful to have you here tonight. Yes. Thank, Thank you yes. very much. Will you come back? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks Thank a lot. you guys. God bless you guys. Thank, Thank you, you, Maddie you. and Abby Wright, and I forget, Sydney. Charity Sydney and <laughs> Emily. Emily. And Emily. we got yeah, there you McKenna. Go. McKenna. Yeah. Just McKenna. We don't know her last name. It's just McKenna. <laughs> Hi, girls. You guys be well. Go fist bump. Thank you. I'm going to get knocked out. Yeah. Getting dangerous. Hey, you know, this job gets better it every gets year. Better every, it does get better every year. We've never had such pretty girls to talk no. to before. <laughs> oh, here comes another girl. Hey, there's another, another pretty one. Yeah, I think yeah. she's running for office, too. Is she hey. running for office? She's running. Sandy, let me see, Sandy. Sandy McQuinley. That's right. And she's running for recorder. And for recorder. recorder. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That, a recorder is one you push the button and it... And it, and it records. Right. You record voices? No. Secretly? Oh. <laughs> What's a recorder do? Recorder's office records documents. Okay. Uh, pertaining to real estate and land and wills, uh, anything, you know, any kind of document that you need. Marriage license? Uh-huh. You can oh, record yeah. marriage license, uh, death Does everybody record their marriage license? Not everyone. Not everybody. Uh -huh. Why would you choice. record it? <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> well, was... you wouldn't have to. You can't if you Maybe want some to. people like to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <Ain't> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's not talking about himself, of course. No. So, no. What, what got you into uh, to want to be the recorder? Have you ran for office before? I ran uh, years ago for a township office, but I've never uh, ran countywide. Right. And I've been at the courthouse for several years, oh. and I've worked in the clerk's office, ass uh, assessor's office, and auditor's office. And those offices yeah. work hand in hand. And uh, when I knew that the current recorder was retiring, I thought, well, you know, it's time for me to step up. Okay. Yeah. You know, run well, that's good. So, you know, with all my Sandy years and experience. I have something in common. Which yes, we, we have a son the same age. We graduated together in yes, 10, wasn't it? that's right. And where is he mm -hmm. at now? He is at IU East. IU East, oh, wow. yes. That's good. Yes. my alma mater, Yeah, IU you graduated East. from IU East. From IU East. Yeah. I remember how long it took you to yeah, get a degree. Was it 17 years? Uh, 18, but 18 we're not going to tell anybody that. Yeah. yeah, but he did well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he would, he'd, I would be at church yeah. every week, and Leonard would, yeah. another yeah. 10 years, Ronnie, and you'll be graduated. And I did. Yes, and I did. And you know, Ronnie used to smoke. I used to smoke. And he quit smoking. 
Oh, well, at church, good. I announced it eight Everything. years ago. Yeah. Eight and a half years ago. Is it eight? Yeah. yeah. Can you oh, very yeah. good. It's great. I'm proud of you. Church, so, yeah. Sandy, yeah. why would you make a good recorder? Yeah. I think it's important for to have experience. And uh, like I said, I have a lot of years of experience down there. Uh, I attend continuing education classes uh, yearly. I have to do 45 credit hours now. And recorders often you have to do 30 oh, to my. stay abreast so on the changes. Education. Wow. Continuing education, I stay abreast on all changes. Well, that's oh, great. Yes. So, yeah. That's great. Anything else you want to tell that middle camera there about Sandy McQuinley for a recorder? Yes, I sure would. I uh, definitely would like to ask you for your vote on November the 4th for Sandy McQuinley for county recorder. Oh. And thank you in advance. And thank you for coming. Sandy, You're welcome. We thank you for having yes. me. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you very bless much. Bless you Sandy too. McQuinn. Thank okay. you. You know, it, it, somebody with that much experience, you know, That's there's wonderful. a lot of people in this county that have the experience but don't run for office. We need and, good and, folks. And you know, we need good people to yeah. run for Have these offices. Yes, we do. We really okay. do. Yeah. If you've ever served in an office, you understand that yeah, more. Absolutely. Oh, here comes another lady. Another lady. Yeah. Another beautiful lady. Hey, I, this lady used to be my neighbor. Really? Yes. Yeah. She's, she's my yeah. Facebook friend. You yeah. Yes. You shake my hand? There you go. <laughs> you know who this is? This is, yes, this is Leota, Leota King. Leota King. Yes. Shake my hand, Leota. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My name's Leota King. Leota I'm King. running for Fayette County Commissioner. I well, want your votes, boys. Yeah, well, okay. you know, I, that's, I, you know, you got the attitude and I love it. Yeah, you got to go after it, man. Yeah. Okay, Leota, but listen, I want you to tell us why you would be a good commissioner. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I'm tell intelligent. Tell the camera. Yeah. Because I'm intelligent. That's a good one. Because I love the Lord. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because I'm conservative. Well, that's, that's good. good. I'll take good care of your money. I'll spend it when it needs to be spent and not act like some kind of a wiser. That's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll beep it out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what what got you involved? I mean, you've been actively involved behind the scenes. This is really your first time, if I, if I understand correctly, of getting and where you're running for office. Have you ever ran for office before? Yes, I have. Oh, you have? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. All right. I've missed by a couple hundred votes. This time I'm going to win by there you, 500. There, there you go. There you go. I like her confidence. You've like got, got to have that attitude. you got to have the yeah. attitude. Yeah. The, 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 but you've helped a lot of people. You've helped a lot of people uh, run for office. You've been an advisor to a lot of people. Again, what made you decide this time to run again? You really don't want to know the answer to that in public. I just felt like we needed to have somebody positive for Fayette County. I love this county. I love the people in it. I think that we're on an upswing. We've been going downhill too long, and things are better. I don't care what everybody says about the finances. Uh, the town's doing good. We've got Danny Parker in there as our new uh, EDG. EDG director. He's going to do a good job. I was down at their office today and talking to Brenda, and he had to grab her out from me because he needed to talk to somebody, had somebody on the phone that was interested in Connorsville, and he needed Brenda's information. So I said, he said, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I said, if you need Brenda, you got her, buddy. Go. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, tell us a little bit about what a county commissioner does. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know the county commissioner has to go to two meetings a month. You they, go to two meetings a month. They okay the claims, I know that. They okay all the claims. They are in charge of the payroll. The council kind of holds what reigns on the money and the amount they can spend, but the commissioners have to try to find out what the priorities are and what needs to be done throughout the county. They're over all of the department heads. They all work for them. They are in charge of hiring those department heads. Each department head hires their own employees. But they're pretty much kind of like the mayor of the county. The I don't know there? anything about the mayor. I never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. We're not okay. talking about yeah, him. Yeah, we're not talking about him. him. Okay. But you know, but, a county commissioner does serve on the community corrections board. A yeah. county commissioner, one of them, serves on the work one board, uh, yeah. elected officials board. So there are a lot of important boards that a county commissioner will serve on once they're elected. So yeah, two meetings a month is just the beginning. Being asked to begin. They have a lot of other mm -hmm. jobs that they do. Well, we want they, you to look serve... into that camera and tell okay, them quit. what you want to tell them. What do I want to tell them? Vote for me because I'll work hard. I don't have any other employment, and I can work full time for part-time pay, and I intend to do that. And I intend to be active in every department and visit with every department head and everyone that's down there in the courthouse and let them know that I'm there to help them and to help them to get their job done 
because we need people working and we need people working throughout the county. Thank you. I like that. Hey, come back and see us. Go to oh, King. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Take he me. has. Yeah, I know he has, and he will continue. <laughs> Absolutely. I like it. You know, I tell you about the spunk. She's got the spunk. She's got the spunk. I'm telling you. She's got the spunk, and hey, I like hey, that. Hey, I got a secret. What's that? I think the queen's coming. I, do, I, I think, think so. I think coming. the queen. Here she, she is. Comes. Here's the yeah. queen. How are you? Let's bow to the queen. <laughs> yeah. Here, let us rise, let her. Let's, let's, let's rise. rise. Yeah, let's make the camera. That's Sydney Pickett do some work over there. I like it. We get royalty. I, I don't want. To, I feel like I'm in your guys' uh, way. I should. Yeah. You just want. You just. You're here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This got, is the best job. You know, we get big pay. We get we to get be around pay. all these beautiful young yeah, girls. That's right. That's right. Yeah. The Fay County Free Fair you know, Queen. You know, this Abby Henry, she graduated high school with my son. Mm -hmm. Which one? And Bobby. Bobby. And her and Bobby were on a committee one time. It was an economics group. Yep. Yep. And they won first prize in the county because she had the idea, she said, we'll buy John Deere stock, because all the farmers buy John right. Deere, right. and they want it, and some other yeah. stock you wanted to buy. We had, we did farm, farm stock, seed stock, and um, we did a lot of equipment stock, just because around the time it was uh, planting season, so you're gonna, and then it, yeah. no, it was harvest is what it was. So all that stuff is gonna go in, and then once harvest was over, which so happened when the, it ended, we we sold yeah. all of our stock and we ended up winning. So. They won big yeah. time, and it taught my son about investing. That's <laughs> good to invest, that investing's good. Yeah. Is that something you yeah. wanna do in the future, be an um, investment banker or? No, I'm just a farmer. Your money. <laughs> Are you a farmer? Yes, I'm okay. a farmer, well, and then I wanna to go to nursing school, so I'm starting at Indiana University East in the fall. Another alma mater, I like yeah. that. Of course, yeah. when I went to school, we were called the Pioneers, now they're the Red Wolves. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've changed. Oh, no, no, would you introduce these yes, lovely- Yes, No, wait, I wanna see if my memory's good enough. Okay, okay. That's, can I stand up? <laughs> yes. No, that's Millie Smith. Hey. Okay. Millie is a great gal. I've known her for years. Steve Robbins' daughter, Megan <laughs> Robbins. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can remember. <laughs> Presley Full. Presley's great and tumbling. What do you call it? Gymnastics. 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 I'm glad you Presley. remembered their names, though. I got their names got the down names the first right. time. All That's right. right. I'll sit you, Leonard. All right. I tell you, you guys had the pageant the week before. Yep. This is your guys' fair. Yep. Tell me. How is it to be the queen? It's it's awesome. I've always wanted to be the queen ever since I was real little. So uh, you know. Just so did they probably, probably. too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, didn't you want to be the queen? <laughs> I did. I did too. I yeah. didn't win though. It's been a great week. We've uh, been to a lot of the livestock events and tried to make our appearances here on the Midway and go down to the amphitheater. So uh, it's just been a great week. And for me, being in 4-H for 10 years and showing cattle and hogs, it's just. I don't know. It brings me back to my home. Yeah, that's right. So, it is her home. Yeah. She, she, you know, she's a Henry, and those Henrys have, I think they have 7,000 hogs. About 80, wow. 8,500 head. 8,500 hogs. Yep. Wow. You ever seen that many hogs? No, that's a lot <laughs> of hogs. That's a lot of hogs. Yeah, I've I'm been out there. Lot. I've been out there. It's yeah. something. I'm oh, telling yeah. you. That's out of 44, yeah. right? Uh, no, it is uh, out in the spring. Oh, spring. Okay, yeah. 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 Lean over here and say something. Yeah, lean over here. Yes. Get over here. Tell us something about your week. So just speak right in there. Come on. Um, this week we actually got to do the garden tractor pool, so that was something completely new for me. So that was really awesome. Good for you. Good. And obviously you wanted to be queen too, right? <laughs> she is a queen. Let's well, not talk all, about you're was right, or you're has. Right, you're right. You're right. They're Leonard, all you're queens. Right. You're all queens. Everybody's a queen, but you're not. I know. I know. Leonard. Megan, Let's speak into his. Right? Hey, yeah, Megan, uh, Megan. Talk to us. There you go, Megan. How about if I take it off? Uh, okay, I'll take it off, Leonard. Okay. Take it off. I'm probably making all kinds of noise. <laughs> able to go down to the horse racing track a little bit and we actually got to sit inside the car that has oh, the wow. gate and see all the horses like face to yeah. face. Wow. That was, that was, that was crazy really crazy and scary. Yeah. It was really fun. Absolutely. Did you ride a horse? I know you're good at that. No, I didn't get to. I tried. <laughs> they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let you? Well, no. I would have been down around it. It was scary though. These things yeah. are going fast. Right? Yeah, they are going right. pretty quick. Yeah. Ab, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Millie sorry, Smith. Millie Smith. There. Talk to me. Tell me. <laughs> or you're Millie. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, okay. Millie. You're Robbins, right? Right. Okay, whatever. We'll get it right. Uh, 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 see, uh, so I, I my memory is better than yours. Way yeah. better than mine, Leonard. Yeah. Well, I really enjoyed all the experiences, but I really enjoyed being able to see a lot of new people and old people and talk to people that I know in 4-H. So just being able to mingle with others has been all, like, my favorite. So. Absolutely. Great. To ask Millie what she's going to be. Millie, what are you going to be? I'm going to school for political science. Political science. And minor in... Um, 
Yeah. And we'll we'll affairs. be interviewing yeah. her here. She'll soon. probably she'll, she'll probably be the county commissioner, the mayor, the, the governor. mayor. She's gonna run for mayor. I hope 2020. so. I hope so. <laughs> or whenever it is. Yes. There we go. She's like, no way. <laughs> Hey girls, it's wonderful I, to have you. Well, we gotta get her. She oh, got talk. me. We got We're her. Oh, sorry. I, I, it's my memory, Leonard. It's going. I need to go to a doctor. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, though, girls. One of the fun things about this fair that you guys didn't mention, of course, me and Leonard talked about, was the food. The food. The food. Got, what about oh, food? Great yeah. food, right? Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's been awesome. Yeah, I tell you what, being surrounded by the girls with royalty, I want. We need to get a tiara next year. Okay, I think, think we will. One. John, we'll yeah. get. We need a tiara for us next year. Yeah, Should no. we be the king of the fair? We need to be. We need a crown. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, we'll see what he can do. John Girls, won't do anything. I know it. Yeah, he won't. We'll have to make our own. We'll get a Burger King. We'll, we'll get some we'll cardboard. Some. Yes, we'll bring us one next year. Will you do that? Yeah. Abby Henry, Fay County Free Fair yeah. Queen 2014. God bless you. Hey, you yeah. want to say anything to yes. the people out there about the fair? Um, just come out to the fair. It's a great time. You'll meet a lot of people, new and old, and support the 4-Hers. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Thanks, you, girls. girls. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Come back. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I tell you what, Leonard, you passed the test of memory. Yeah, I, I did. I knew all four girls. And I didn't. And I just heard their names and hey, here I am Let me tell you a secret. What's at that? the Lions Club the other day, they were our guests. Yeah. And I did it then, too. I did yeah. it two times yeah, in a row. And I, so that's it. You had an advantage yeah. over me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we know this guy. Yeah. Hey, hey this how you doing? This is Joey Laughlin. Joey. It says David. I don't get that. Yeah, I don't know. David Joey. David Joey? Yeah, yeah, David Joey. You gotta Joseph. do the full well, name. Why don't they call right. you D Joey if you're David? It's what my parents called me. My dad's yeah. Joe, I'm Joey. So. Oh, yeah, well, they, they gotta do that. That's you right, that's right. That. It's easier to yeah. say. Yeah. Running yeah. for sheriff. Running for sheriff. Yeah, uh -huh. That's another guy we don't want to be on the bad side of. Oh, no. no after tonight and <laughs> after, after we interview him, yeah. we get a free ticket. We should. So if we, we get, get a ticket. Yeah, color, right? Do we get one of those? Is I, that for uh, real? Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not yet. I don't yet. think that's going to happen. <laughs> no, I, I don't think it is, Leonard. I, I tell you what, though, Joey, you have uh, been on the force for a long time. Yes, a, sir. A, a, a deputy. Yes. Uh, for the Fay County Sheriff's Department. What, again, what made you decide this is it, I want to run for sheriff? Well, I've been there for 14 years. Uh, I've been a jail officer, a road officer. I thought uh, he said he'd been in jail for Yeah, I thought so too. I was like, hey, come on. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I worked yeah. there. Just, yeah, I didn't, a, he gets I didn't to the get cell out. Blocks, yeah. but, uh, I was in the drug division for six years. I've, I'm the detective there now. I'm the lieutenant. And uh, uh, obviously, term limits. Sheriff yeah. Wason's leaving. Yeah. And uh, I opportunity presented itself and uh, I, got to jump I, into it. I felt I was ready to step up. You know, so. I was playing tennis Leonard over the summertime up at the, up at the park and uh, you guys were getting ready to stump. I'm playing tennis and all these cars pulled up. I thought, what's going on? And your people were getting out carrying all these signs. I thought, one, that's great exercise, and two, people actually do go out there and stop. Yep, yep, absolutely. Well, that's yeah, great. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. hitting the knocking on the doors. What do you bring to the table besides your experience? I mean, obviously, experience is big, but you know, there's a lot to being a sheriff other than I mean, you got to run the whole, the whole, uh, whole everything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the biggest thing that I bring to the table is just a, a desire to uh, to work. I, I've always, uh, when I was in the drug division, I ran that. I was a director, and there's five agencies in there. And I think we was pretty productive. We had about 255 arrests during that time. Um, and this town obviously continues to have a drug problem. And, yeah. and I believe that uh, I'll lead from the front and we'll get out there and, and take care of some things. So. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's what we I need. Yeah, we drugs, need I know I work with the police. And yeah. Drugs are, is our biggest problem. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, I had some people from New York call and interview me about our town. Mm -hmm. And I said, you ought to come here and live. It's a safe place to live. I said, we only have a murder about every 10 years. Yeah, that's right. And he said, how do you know that? I said, well, I was county coroner 11 years. And I said, we have a murder about every 10 years. He said, where are you in your cycle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Joey, speak into that center camera and tell them why you should be sheriff. OK, absolutely. Uh, I believe I should be the sheriff based on my experience. I've been there for 14 years. I've served about every position at the sheriff's department. I believe this is a natural progression for me. I believe I bring to the table a uh, desire to work for the citizens of Fayette County. I've been dedicated to the sheriff's department. I've never left. And I believe that uh, for four years, you guys will be pretty happy with the sheriff's department. And I want you to have a bigger role in the sheriff's department. And one of the things I plan on doing is establishing, establishing a citizen sheriff's academy and having the public come in interact with our deputies and us to get to know the people we serve. Oh, wow. So. Oh, that's interesting. Joey.
Thanks for coming Thank by you, tonight. Thank you, you made the sunshine. Yeah, there you, you did. Go. Joe brought the sunshine. God bless you, Thank Joe. You, I tell you what, you know, that's a, a, it's a tough, tough oh, job. Man, I wouldn't want to be sheriff. Someone will ever shoot at you. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's and look right. at he doesn't even have his vest on. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, you get uh Oh, here comes another lady. Another, another lovely lady. lady. You know, I know her. Do you know I her? Yes. I, well, tell me who she is. We're neighbors. Ruth Nutty. Oh, you live up there. That's right. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, yeah. Ruth Nutty. Yeah. Pleasure. pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. You know, and she used to Mayor? work right for the news examiner for the cooking with Ruth or whatever it was called. Cook, you know? Yeah, she can cook good. Yeah. I've eaten some of her stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've tried some of your recipes. So tell us, you're, you, you are running for reporter. I am. And uh, you, you, you what, what do you do currently? Currently, I work in the Connersville Township Trustee's mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. I work for Kathy Harvey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you decided, you know what, I want to you know, get into the recorder office. What was the deciding factor for you? You sat down with your husband and said, I'm going to do it. Well, we weighed out a lot of things. Um, right now I work part time. The recorder's job is full time position. So I would be going back into full time service if I take that position. Um, I, I have 20, 20 plus years of public service and I enjoy serving people and uh, I look forward to the opportunity of serving the public. Yeah. Okay, what uh, what do you what would you bring to the uh, recorder's office? What what what, do you, what would you change or bring in to the recorder's office? Well, I don't know that I would necessarily need to change anything, but I bring experience. I bring public service experience. I bring experience as a, a past elected official. And what uh, office did you have before, other than I China? was a Harrison Township Assessor. Oh, oh I yes. remember I that. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, those yeah. jobs have been eliminated now. Yeah. Yeah. But I served the the taxpayers of Harrison Township, and um, I just I just think that I would be able to serve that office well, and that my experience would bring <laughs> in a cheerful, happy, efficient okay. service. Okay. What uh, What have you enjoyed at the fair this week? Oh, I, I always enjoy what, looking at the 4-H exhibits. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah nice. I was I over like there last too. night. Boy, that's yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, that is good stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. it's always amazing to me the creativity that the, that the kids oh, have. Oh, the kids are... Mm -hmm. we, we, our, our city's blessed with a lot of talented mm -hmm. kids. Oh, People don't realize yeah. that. Hey, you do just come to the 4-H uh, yeah. and see that. Yeah, some of those oh, yeah. pictures they did yes. over there. Oh, oh. man. I, I saw the that talent. little barn with the thing. Oh, oh man. It's the, wonderful. The John Deere tractor. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Well, 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 listen, Amazing. Ruth, you, uh, you look into that middle camera and you tell them why you want to be the recorder. Well, I want to be the next Fayette County recorder because I look forward to working with the taxpayers and the citizens of Fayette County, and I look forward to continuing a friendly, efficient office for the taxpayers. Ruth Nutty, recorder on the... I guess it matter in November. Thank you. Republican? Next, I'm a Republican. Republican. Yeah. Next yeah. time you come, bring some kind of bread or pie yes. or something. Yeah, yeah. you okay. should have asked me. I could have done I that. I should have. Yeah. You should have known. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Ruth Nettie. God bless Thank you. you. Always Thank a pleasure you. seeing you. Thanks. Always, I tell you what. what what's know. next? Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be Jim Wolf. Oh, man. I think Jim Wolf's going to come in here. Oh. Jim, of course. Has, uh, it, has he got a gun? He doesn't have a gun, and nothing's going to explode, Jim, right? I don't think so. Okay. He, yeah. he might explode. He might explode. Yeah. yeah. Jim, Jim, what kind of questions you ask me? <laughs> We're going to ask you good questions. Okay. He's going to have me I'm ask ready. the hard questions. So I'm remember, ready. it's a hard you question. Are, that came you from are, him. Now, I know about it. I know yeah, about this. You know about it. Okay. Okay. Well, I've never been a county commissioner. That's right. I've never been one. Sure. No, but listen, you are the county councilman. Right. For six okay. years. But now you're running for county commissioner. Correct. Tell us what the difference is and why you're doing that. Well, the county council appropriates money, and the commissioners uh, basically spend money. And I want to become the commissioner because I want to cut back on some of the spending. You know, there has been talk about, you hear this all the time, Leonard, about combining services, and we've talked about combining ca county and city. But wh why is there a two different county uh, commissioner and council? Couldn't there just be one big group that does both? No, that's the way it's set up below now. That's the way it's set up? Yeah. Okay. Well, see, okay. see, I can tell you why that is. I, I, I'm not too smart. You know, I'm not either. But the county council is the legislative branch. Yes. They pass the ordinance and they handle the money, just like mm -hmm. my city council. They're the same as my city council. Yeah. And then the commissioners Act are the as, executive, like the, the, yeah, like the mayor and the yes. board of works. Okay. We run the city. The council appropriates the money and the mayor and the board of works run the city. Well, they run the county, the commissioners. There we go. Okay. The, okay. Uh, the only thing that is hard, there's three county commissioners. That's difficult to run th with three. They, they have to confer on everything. 
with the mayor, you only got one person. That's right, Jim. So, yeah, it's a lot better. But that's the way it is. It's according to Constitution. But Jim, what what will you do better? That's what we want to know. Uh, save money, not spend. Save some. money. Okay. Uh, like when I first got on there, about the first three months, uh, the commissioners wanted uh, fifty thousand dollars to put new controls in the courthouse, and. I came up and said, uh, we just put new controls in four years ago when they built the courthouse. Why? They said, well, the company that takes care of them is no longer around in business, so uh, they want new controls. I said, give me a month and let me find somebody who will take care of them. So instead of spending $50,000, guy came in and retaught, retrained people at the courthouse for $900 instead of buying new controls. Oh, that's that's good money. So you're looking. At, so so you bring resourcefulness right to the office. Right. Good common sense resourcefulness. I've been in business 34 years, and I'll, uh, you can't run government like you do your business, but you can learn a lot of things from your business to run government. It's very good. Very good. I think it's very good. Camera can time. I tell him? You, you tell him. Okay. Look into that middle camera and tell them why you want to be county commissioner. I've been on the county council for uh, six years, and I think it's time to go over on the other side and try to save some money. That's the reason I want to run. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Hey, Thank you, Mayor. good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Jim, God bless okay. you, sir. Thank you very well, much. Oh, I think we got some pretty girls I coming. think we do have some more pretty yeah. girls. i tell you why. This, is, this, is, this has been a fun evening. This has been a fun, fun evening. Yeah. Yeah. The Hope Center, you know, we, we, we've all heard of the Hope Pregnancy Center. Now it's the Hope Center. The it's girls the Hope are, Center. Yeah, yeah, the girls are yeah. going to explain to us. This and Emily Bell. And Marla Steele, and I remember their names because it's on their name tag. <laughs> so I remember that. I know them personally. Yeah. They're good people. I could tell. Do you know how important the Hope Center is to our community? Very, very important. You know, when I first saw that years ago and it started in that little building, I thought, why didn't someone do this a long time right. ago? Because I'm against abortion, I hate to say. <laughs> Me but too. I'm, I'm right there with I, you. Am I allowed to say it on You're allowed TV? to say it. You're allowed to say I, it. I'm against Proudly it. Proudly say it. Yeah. And, yeah uh, I'm with you. I, I've had five children of my own, and I've seen, you know, at first we didn't get to see the kids. The first two kids, we never saw them until they popped out. Yeah, that's right. But the rest of the kids, we watched them from the time they were. They were so tiny. Yeah. And it really makes you think. Yes, yes it now, does. Now, you've got a lot of new things going over we, at the Hope Center. Yes, Tell us about it. Yes, we do. It. Well, we moved to our new location yeah. on 6th Street and Central back in March. We have opened our medical services. Those opened in June. We offer ultrasounds and wow. um, STI testing and treatment wow. at no cost to our clients. Um, we are getting ready next week to open our Cradles Child Care Program, and that is a program for our high school students. And we started the Cradles Program. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you got to have that on. There. That's right. It's good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep Just on <laughs> talking. Don't stop. We started the high the um, Cradles Program for our high school students so that they are able to continue their high school education. And we know the importance of that and um, keeping them in school and getting them educated. And yeah. so um, we are working on, with the high school, we're working with them. They will be um, taking classes and getting a high school credit as well as a college credit for using our child care program. You know, my daughter uh, had last year uh, in March, uh, I became a grandfather. Uh, she graduated high school. Uh, and, and I tell you, she has utilized some of the services. Uh, it's Wonderful. been very good. It kept her in school. She was able to graduate on time. And just uh, think, without that grandmother. Without, yeah, with, oh, I'll yeah, bet you love oh, her to death. The, the greatest. Oh. If I'd have known that grandkids would have been this cool, I'd have had, I would have had them first. first. I know. Right, I know. right. I know. And so, but, but, but really, the, the help. Uh, there's a lady that comes out to talk to her. Uh, it was a, it's been wonderful. You're right, Leonard. Why wasn't this brought up earlier? Well, mm -hmm. because we were living in the dark ages. That's right. And you That's know, right. Uh, we all are faced with on uh, pregnancies that happen. Yeah, they have right. the, right. their blessings. God wants every child right. to be born They're and to blessings. have a chance in this world. Their blessings. And, uh, right. Yeah, it is. It's a wonderful thing that yeah. we got. We go to their banquet every year. We donate. We try to be a big part of it. I think the churches that I go to yeah. donate to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that, Emily, do you have anything to say to us? Put the mic up there for you. <laughs> Come on, tell I us something. I don't have anything to add. I think Carla covered it pretty well. We yeah. are uh, actually, we are hiring for cradles as well as looking for volunteers for cradles. And we are also looking for volunteers for our Hope Center. 
If you can volunteer to be a receptionist, an advocate, anything you can bring to the center, we would encourage you to come out and. Do you want make. men or women or both? Both. both. Now, now you're talking. You're talking advocates, like uh, somebody that would that's maybe had a teen pregnancy that's overcome that help or that, you just... they could be a, a teen mom or teen dad. You know, any any of that. Um, anybody who. Um, Peer counselor is oh, what yeah. we normal is yeah. what we actually do is peer counselor. Yeah, anything that promotes life, Leonard, as oh, you know, I'm is a top-notch it. organization. I'm for, I'm for that. And, and I, if I can add, we have had a generous donor. All uh, the Hope Center runs on, operates on. Um, community support and that's how we are funded at the Hope Center and we have been given a generous donation of a matching grant of $25,000 and so we are looking we're at 14,000 right now we are looking to raise that to 25,000 and if we can do that um, within the next couple of weeks um, this gentle, gentleman will step up and give us $25,000 to help support our Cradles program. You want, you want to hear something really important? Yes. My brother-in-law is the president of the Hope Center. Yes. Bill Long. Bill yes, Long. he is. And he gives a lot of time to I want to give him a little credit. Yes. I give him, Bill Long, I, I'm on him all man. the time. See. <laughs> yes. I'm not very nice to him. And he'll tell you that. But I will give him credit. He puts a lot of time yes, in that. And she gives more than she ever gets paid for, and so does she. And it's a wonderful program. It, it, you will be rewarded. As my grandmother said, you'll get your reward in heaven. That's, That's right. right. That's and, right. And we're going to give you a reward here. So sure. well. look that middle camera and tell them that we need that money and tell them why we need it. Yes, please help support the Hope Center. We are looking to um, educate and help to um, the high school students to further their education. And so please come out and help the Hope, um, help the Hope Center and um, with our funds of the $25,000 matching grant. Thank God you. God bless you guys. Thank you Thank so you. much, Emily. Okay. God okay. bless you. God bless you, Marla. You. God bless you too. God and bless I'm you glad too. you like your new yeah. home. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very uh, I worked hard to help yeah, you. Yes, Sixth yes, and Central. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Great. Thank you. God bless you guys. Oh, you know, I tell you, again, anything that promotes life winners. You know, the sun has just come out at yeah. the fair and the crowds are increasing. Ah, look what we, we got, got here. We got a young guy we here. We got a young yeah, man. Guys yeah. Yeah. Right, what's going on? Tell everybody who you is. I'm Alex Rose. That's it? Let me tell you about Alex. Alex is a good boy. Let me tell you. Whenever we have any big event, Alex always is in traffic control. Yes. He works with us. Last year during the bicentennial, we used him constantly. And we went up to Indianapolis. The legislature gave the city an award. And Alex went up there with us, enjoyed the day. And I was so proud of him. He was, uh, he was I think he was the youngest person in our group. Yeah. Yep, I was. You're what, so. just not 20? I just turned 20 last Saturday, Matt, so. Oh, happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday last Saturday. I helped on the fair direct traffic, too, so. He, nobody donates time like he does yeah. and helps us out. You know, and that's unheard of at this, you know, your age. I mean, when yeah. I was his age, 19, 20, I was wanted yeah. to be on the radio. No, don't, you, don't tell him what yeah. you want to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have, I didn't, yeah. it didn't appear yeah. to me. So you're out there donating your time, and we see him every, day, every time I I know, game, I know. Yeah. You know? Uh, so you I just I just love uh, being with the community. I mean one day yeah. eventually I'll probably run for an office around here, so yeah. well, how come you don't go and be a policeman or something? Oh uh, I probably will. Um, you just gotta have twenty four weeks of ISP, Indiana okay. State Police Academy. Yeah. And Dave, so is that what you want to be as a person? Dave counselor and uh, a couple of other officers has asked me to uh, go do that. Make something out of myself, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. I'd appreciate it. I mean yeah. I have always uh, I've hung around it. My dad was in it for thirty something years, so yeah. So, I, I, I told him a little while ago, I said, come over and get interviewed. Nobody yeah. ever gives you credit for all right. that yeah. you do. That's, that's true. true. Yeah, well, yeah, that's when the flooding credit. happened back in, uh, was I think it was March or April, yeah, I was over there helping uh, sandbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water. that's right. That's yeah. right. When we had that big flood over there, you yeah. were right over there pulling them sandbags in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and and I, you know, I, we talked earlier with it, with some of the, uh, uh, with Wolf and a couple other guys with Laughlin, they're talking about the drug problem. You know, you're at that age where I mean, a lot of your friends are doing that. A lot of people went to high school with are doing that. Yep. But you're taking a different route. What yep. advice do you have? Tell that. Tell the people. What advice do you have? Anybody, not just twenty year olds, but we're talking. People are age yeah, yeah, that's right. It's never too old to yeah. volunteer time. I, it's good. I mean, you'll get known, more known, and uh, what you're going to do in life, you're going to get known. You just uh, help out in your community. People's going to recognize you. The more you do for your community, the more it's going to help you in life. And I just a uh, big part of the community. I love doing what I do, and I'm just going to continue doing it as much as I can. 
Yeah. Thank you for coming yeah. by. Hey, we Thank appreciate you. it. Alex, well, I'll see you at the bowl. Uh, I'll, I'll probably, sure see, we'll, I'll probably see uh, Leonard there too, without yeah. a doubt. So. I'll yeah, be there. Yeah, we'll definitely yep. see. You. We'll you, see. Know, you know, they uh, uh, they talk about uh, the youth being our future, and yep. uh, it's bright right here. With That's Alex. right. Yes, it is. Keep Absolutely. doing it. Thank don't you. Quit. Yeah. Appreciate it. Definitely Thank don't you. quit. Yeah, they got the curtain up. We can't see who's coming know, now. But so we don't. We don't know. It's kind of like yeah. we're wondering who's well, going to. Well, yeah. And it, Mike Winter. Yeah. Hey, Mike, Mike Winter. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Mike hey, Winter. Mike. How, how are you? Yeah. Sit down there. Yeah. How you doing? Good. 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 Yeah, well, I know a little bit about this I guy. I know a little bit about Mike yeah. too. He and I have interviewed in the past before. Yeah. He's a Facebook friend of mine. I've seen yeah. him out. He does all kinds of well, things. He's serving on that uh, legislative committee that I told yes. you about. The yes. uh, the County committee Council. down there. The. Uh, County Council. County Council. He, uh, I, I've watched him. He's done a good job. He, he's a great guy. And uh, what I really like about Mike, he has a dream about our baseball park. Yes, yes. And uh, we have a dream about the baseball park. The only thing wrong with it, we just don't have the money. That's we right. The dream. That's so right. Tell us about the baseball park. How can we you... turn the dream into a reality? Yeah. Well, we got to be creative in how we do the funding for it. And I've talked with uh, with uh, Mr. Ron, uh, Cold Iron about that. We probably need to get naming rights, things like that, major sponsors through that, sell parts, portions of the park to pay for it that way through the community, making it a community involvement type thing rather than the county and the city. As we all know, the city and the county are both strapped for cash and you know doing the best we can to operate with the limited funds that we have. So we've got to be creative in how we get this done. So it's not coming off the backs of the taxpayers. and. We're getting everybody to do this through community effort. And yeah, one thing I'm impressed with Mike is that he's, you know, you, we, we all three have something in common. We weren't born or raised in Connersville, but That's we right. came to Connersville yeah. and we embraced it. We right. fell in love with it. Yeah. You've been here how long now, Mike? 14 years. 14 years. What, what made you fall in love with Connersville? A lot of people are saying, uh, I can tell. It's his wife. It's She's his wife. She's from yeah, there. I fell in love with her. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's the best yeah. answer. I got the best Parker out of the bunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's Dan beautiful. Parker's son-in-law. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that, I, yeah. well, what brought me here was uh, I grew up in a small town like this, so actually quite in a Wisconsin. bit smaller. Wisconsin. Yes. 451 yeah. people. The thing that we were famous for is frog jumping capital of the world, so that their little community outing, they jump frogs. And whoever jumps the farthest wins. We, we, should, do that. we should do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. great yeah. fun. I know we could do that. And so you came down here to Connorsville to the I like big this, city. I like, I like the small town atmosphere. Yeah. I like how everybody's close and tight-knit and everybody uh, seems to really care about each other and it's a genuine uh, care for your for your neighbor and for your your fellow man and you embraced it he started throwing his name in the hat for and you know what he's doing now he's running for a re-election yes on the county council and uh, he wants to serve another term and he is president of the county council yep. at the present oh, time yeah. Yeah. and you had your pass with the relay for life yeah he's yeah, yeah, worked with years. that for years yeah. yeah 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 and so mike we need you to look at that center camera and tell those people exactly why you want to be their county councilor. Well, I want to continue to serve on county council because I find ways to uh, save the county money through grants and other things. We've managed to, uh, through uh, funding for the, for the police department and the sheriff's department, get them nine computers and scanner systems for their um, ticketing system and so forth. The sheriff's department are going to be fully outfitted in that. That was almost $20,000 in free money from the state, uh, grants that were available to us. Uh, switching our software, our court reporting software that cost us almost $28,000 a year annually. We now have eliminated that cost, so we've managed to save the county almost $50,000 in the past uh, little bit here. And we need, to, we need to be innovative, we need to work extra hard to find that because, you know, as we know, we're strapped financially in this county. I want to continue to work and to earn your trust and to serve you as a, as a county councilman. Mike, thanks for coming by tonight. Thanks. We appreciate Mike, it. God bless you, buddy. Thank thanks. you very much. Mike went to County Council District 1. Vote for him. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I see a bunch of pretty girls gathering. I do, too. I see them around well, the What do you think's happening? I hope that they're next. I hope it's the I, CMS. I, I, CHS oh, CHS I, I see Sandy. Yes. I see Sandy. Sandy. Yeah. How you doing? We yeah. got... Come on, around, Come on around, girls. Come on around. CHS Spartanettes. CHS Spartanettes. Oh, oh, we Come got on a around. big bunch of... Come on all the way around here. We go get around. Around. Surround us all. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Gather here. Don't be hiding. We yeah. love to be surrounded by yes, beautiful we girls. we sure do. Wow, oh, Sandy, man. You, uh, you've done this for years. What keeps you yes. coming back with the girls? Uh, I love it. The kids what? are good. Yeah. They're yeah. great kids. Yeah. They Maybe, work hard. We, we, Fran and I always have the front row seat. Every every Spartan basketball game, see the yeah. girls do their things, and I tell you, it always it always amazes me how tight you guys are. How long do you guys practice those routines? Uh, well, we start in June with conditioning four times a week, two hours a day. Conditioning, that's, conditioning, what, we that's what we need. Yeah. Yes. That's what we need. Yeah. 
then once school starts, we go to two nights a week because we have multiple sports yes. girls. Yeah. You know, we've got volleyball, soccer, swimming, you know, just all types so of So you girls sports. not only dance, but you play other sports yes. too? Yes, oh, wow. they do. They're going to be in yeah. tip-top shape. Yeah. Yes. So then we go to two. Hey, look around. They are yeah, tip-top tip shape. shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they all got their hair combed yeah. and their lipstick on. And yeah. man, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Sandy, do you yes. remember when I danced with you? Yes, Not I do. with you, but you no, taught me. with Bernie. You but did. Bernie, yes. mm -hmm. I couldn't do it again. Did he have yeah. two left feet or uh, tell no, us about No, he was really good. I, I did a pretty good, good job yeah, yeah, for my age and yeah, my time. I, I, they even I, danced on dance recital. Oh, yeah, wow. we did. We danced in the dance recital. Uh, you know, that, yeah. I tell you what, you, dancing is a, is, a, is a sport, really. Yes, I mean, you, you, can, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it until the last day. Yeah, I need to get involved with you, Sandy, so I can get back in the shape. These girls condition all the time. How many do you have? How many girls do you I, have? We've got a total of 21, but we just got back from camp. And again, they did absolutely wonderful. And the whole team qualified to go to Disney. Oh, man, and that's fun. And the Christmas that's extravaganza. Fun. And that's coming up this Christmas, right? Yes. And although we had eight nominees and two All-Americans, all of those girls decided they wanted to go with the team somewhere. Instead of going to London or Philadelphia or Macy's, they wanted to go with the team. So 19 of the 21 girls are fundraising. They have to raise a thousand dollars each to go, and they want to go as a team to Disney. Well, I, I want you to come on down to the Board of Works and uh, get a date for a bucket drive. Yes, I you, think you one of the mothers already done Dixie, that. Because yeah. you, you can raise about a thousand, twelve hundred dollars in one weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got 19 girls going, and yeah. they're a very close knit group. They work very hard. You know, now, do you have a website or anything that we can go to to find out where the fundraisers are? Facebook um, pages. Where. We have the website with the school. Okay. This Connors Wall High School Athletics. Yes. You know, a lot of people gripe about those boot drives, but you know what? I love them. What I do, I put some money in mine. Yeah. Right there. Get and right as I go up down the street, I just fork yeah. out a dollar. Yeah. It don't take. And if oh, everybody so. gives a dollar and you got a hundred, that's a hundred dollars. Everybody gives yeah. a thousand. That, I always so. do too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do. do. That's supporting your community. If you can't go out and do something, you can support it financially. I usually have the dirtiest change. So if you see the dirtiest change, you know that I gave it to you. I always yeah. have it stuck in there with my bob yeah. and everything. Again, fundraising, big thing for you guys. Yes. And you guys are going to go to Disney World. What other, what other, I mean, sports, you guys play other sports. What, I mean, what, where do you find the time? They're dedicated. They're hardworking. They know time management. Um, prepares them for college and yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. And they, you know, they do those things at the basketball game. Yeah, we they, see it every time. They, they do all that stuff for us. Yeah. You know, and they don't get any pay for no, it. No, they don't. So we need and, to be good to these girls. Yeah. yeah. And we we do a lot of community events and everything. Yeah. 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 Yes. Is your mother still helping you? No. I, she's not uh, helping anymore. Oh, uh, I'm my sorry. husband is. He okay. goes in and does the desk. Her mother was there. wonderful. Yeah. She made she made the costumes when we danced. Oh wow! Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. And what's your daughter's name? Sydney. Hey, Sydney. she's right oh, over Sydney. there. I didn't, oh, are, gosh, are you kidding me? On, I didn't know that. Sid. Yeah. I love her. She's she, a wonderful. <laughs> she is. She, she's a pretty good kid. She has she a degree in this in this camera yes. stuff. Where she makes us look Ball good State. better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ball State, I think it was. Yeah. Yes, yeah. She, yes she graduated Ball Sorry, State. Sorry, Sid, I didn't know that. She, I didn't she's know that. getting all of her stuff here. Well, well I was saying the girl that cut my hair usually works with you, and I forget her name over there at Kim's Sharon. Unit. Yeah, that's it. And I thought yeah. she yeah, was your daughter, too. Assistant. Yeah, but she's your yeah. sister. I've got a lot of adopted daughters. They, okay, there you, you go. Know. Okay, yeah, but Sid's the real one. We she got you. Right over yeah, there. that's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful that you came by tonight. You know, well, we're, you. we've been talking to people that's running for political office, and we just love them people. <laughs> and it's really good when you bring all the pretty girls that's down. That's right. And yeah. Ronnie and I just bloom. We bloom. No, we bloom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like a yeah. thorn amongst roses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next to the fried chicken, we that's like right. them next. Yeah. 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 Fried chicken was good. Wasn't it, it was good? good. I didn't yeah. get to get any. Why are you bringing that up? Oh, I like to bring it up yeah. when you didn't get any. It was. Get good. Any. It was. Yeah. Their line was yeah. fast and yes. fast. I know. They ran out at 10 till 7. I know. Thank okay. You. Thank you guys very much. Thank God bless you, you guys. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Good girls. Thank you very Thank you so much. We'll see you at the game. We'll look forward to seeing you. Football starts. Right. Yes, we'll see you at the football game. Yeah. That's right. God bless you guys. Yeah. Good Thank luck you. in raising money. Yeah. Have fun. Take, take, take your bike, Donald Sandy. Mickey. Yeah. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Leonard. It's uh, the pretty girls that makes this show. Oh, man. That's Here comes right. another girl. Here comes another pretty girl. Uh, you know I, who this is. I've got nothing on that group hey, that just oh, left. Hey, do you know who this is? This is Charlene. <laughs> Charlene? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice hey, to meet you. Hey, is my memory good or is my memory Your memory good? is outstanding. Oh, His way better than yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, now ask him what my last name is. What's your last name? <laughs> Gogorski. 
close, Gruyoski. Oh, what's I that again? Gruyoski. Gruyoski. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to butcher. Did I? Yeah, say that? you did. You I did pretty good. Gruyoski. I like that. Hey, yeah. How's Leonard doing? Hey, I'm doing all right. Good. Glad to see you at the fair. Hey, yeah. Go eat some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, what brings you out to the fair? Well, I'm here because I'm running for county council for I District I didn't know three. that. We did not know that. Oh, we didn't I didn't know that. that's my district. That's what I'm confused. I live right over there, by the, right here by the park. My phone is ringing. i got to turn this what off here. office. Yeah, so right over by the park is not District 3. I'm actually kind of the 5th Street Hill. Oh, okay, so you're And then it includes Elephant Hill and then most of the western And you're running for county. county council. County well, I'll council. Be darn, well, why didn't I know that? I know everything about politics. <laughs> yeah. I can't figure well, that I've out. Well, I've kept it kind of quiet. I think a lot of people... People um, get a lot of uh, political fatigue. You know, there's so much advertising around running and everything. And so I thought I'd kind of keep my campaign keep quiet yeah. until just the couple of months before the election in November. Because this is like the official time. So this yeah. is like my official kickoff. Well, let, yeah, me tell you, let me tell you about Charlene. Charlene donated her building to the Bicentennial Committee downtown. And we used her building the whole year before. Oh, wow. And, uh, uh, we fixed it up a good bit, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, now she has kind of a daycare in there. It's not a daycare. It's an indoor playground. It's indoor something playground. Where's where this at? It's uh, right where across the, from where the courthouse. The Bicentennial headquarters. Oh, yes. Yeah. Bicentennial yes. headquarters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's an indoor playground where parents can come with their children, play together, and have the opportunity to, you know, when it's raining and bad weather, have a place where they can play. You know, we've been closed for the summer because Connorsville has so many great parks and playgrounds. Yes, and, we do. You know, and that's one of the things I loved about Connorsville when I moved here. But in the winter, there's just nothing for the kids to do. And so we opened the indoor playground so that kids could still, you know, blow off steam in the middle of winter. Good idea. Good idea. I like that. And so you decided to, you know, again, you're running for office. You're (laughs) Mm -hmm. having a, you know, you're getting ready to kick off your campaign. What brought you to this point? What what decided for you to run? Well, I was actually asked to run. I had some friends that said, you're in District 3, aren't you? And, you know, we'd really love to have someone run for county council. And I thought about it and I thought, you know, I'm committed to the Connorsville community. This is where we've chosen to raise our children and to live for the foreseeable future. And so I feel like being a part of county council, I would really be able to actually help plan for the future of not just my children, but all the children and, in and Connorsville. And w- what ticket are you on? The Democratic, Democratic ticket. ticket. Okay, she's wearing she, blue. She's pretty smart, too. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, I watched her when we were doing the bicentennial. Yeah. She, she took care of all the logistics and moving stuff around. Uh, Charlene, look into that center camera and tell them exactly why you want to be county councilman. Well, as county I said, council, woman. I said yeah. man, woman. County council. I really want to be on county council because I feel that, you know, you hear a lot of people say it's all about saving the county money. And it is about saving the county money, but it's more than that. It's about having a plan for the future of this county and having Connorsville and Fayette County really be the great place that it can be for our children and for their future so that when my kids grow up, they have a desire to you know, maybe go away to college, maybe come back, but still stay connected to Fayette County and come back and develop this county and make it all that it can be. Oh, very, very good. Very good. Uh, I, 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 I want you to say her last name. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. It's okay. Charlene. Charlene. Gruyoski. Gruyoski. Charlene Gruyoski. Gruyoski. You'll catch on we'll after catch a while. Up. Yeah, yeah, we'll catch Charlotte, on. Charlotte, thank thanks coming. so much Very for letting good. me thank in. You. Yeah. No problem, thank you. Have a great Buffer. time at the fair. Oh, we're thank having you a great time. Go eat some chicken, yeah. fine chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very, you know, I tell you what, Leonard, one of the common themes of everyone running for office, you can attest to this, because you love, everyone loves the city. That's right. Everyone loves everyone the loves county. Everyone loves the city and the county. And yeah. you know, everybody really aims to do the best yes, they can. absolutely. It, it, it's, Nobody's here it, for any it's just, bad reasons. You know, in politics, sometimes you get bad things thrown at you. Right. But I really believe everybody, oh, this, this, this yeah. over here. Can I tell you who this is? Yes, please. I don't please. know. What's your name? Sherry Herbert Kendall. Sherry I did, Herbert but I Kendall. thought I was trying you. I wanted oh, to see you. Oh, I didn't you, know. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. I've known Sherry, Sherry since she was that big. That big, yeah. 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 
I, I, yeah. I'm sure you're just a couple minutes. Yeah. Now. No, actually, nice you look from you. I, I've seen you before. And right? I'll tell you another thing. Probably. I'll bet you ten dollars she's running for Harrison Township trustee. Yes. Can I run for? Okay, yes, I live. You know why I know that? Because she is in the Harrison oh, Township. Oh, you're in Harrison Township. Oh, yeah, okay. Trustee. So I live in Harrison Township. I yeah. believe. Oh, yeah. I appreciate yeah. your vote. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I do. I live in it. So you've been doing this for four years now, if I yes. understand right. Yes. What makes you come back and do it again? You know. This has been a challenging job, and I just love it. I love giving help to the people. I love um, overseeing the taxpayer dollars, but yet saving what I can save, but giving people that need help resources to get out of this mess. Yeah, that's true. A lot of us so, are in that situation. You're able to help. I'm sure, it warms your heart. Exactly what kind of help do you provide people? Uh, we help people that um, are in need of utility help or rent. Um, we don't That's want like paying to... their light bill yeah. and their right. water bill, helping them out. Right. Yeah. We don't want them to get evicted. We don't yeah. want their lights to be turned yeah. off. But at the same time, you know, you got to make sure that we're out there trying to find them jobs. We're out there giving them resources to get on different government programs. Oh, so you provide a lot more than just the... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a help for the moment, but also a help for the future as well. Right, and I feel that when people come in, they're already down. And so, I mean, my motto is CPR, communications, patience, and respect. Yeah. And each person that walks in my office, I try my hardest to give them the resources that they need. And, you know, I just, I just hope the Harrison Township people um, vote for me again. Yeah. I just yeah. love it. You know who she really is? She's Dick Herbert's daughter. Oh, you're Dick Herbert's daughter. Yeah, you know, I was I, just trying. You know, no, I, I, I did not know that. You know, your father, when I worked at the radio station, I used to love his commercials when he had the IJ story. <laughs> yeah. He had that voice, you know, yeah. Dick. And then that would go down in Brookville and you'd hear, yeah. what a great man. Yeah. What a great, great man. Well, good for you for helping out and wanting to do it again. And, and you know what else she's famous for? She's got that great big white dog, Herbie that advertises for in the parade the other day with oh, the really? white with the oh, red yes, signs yes. on it yeah yeah yes. that's 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 a, hey, that's like a great dane or something isn't it? Yeah. no it's, it's a poodle, poodle. Oh, God. don't you know a poodle from a great this dane yeah. you said this big yeah. that's my brother and he <laughs> says vote for my sister that's right yeah <laughs> Just tell the camera over there exactly why you want to be Harrison Township trustee. This is your moment in life right here. All right. I want to be Harrison Township trustee because I feel that I've given the people resources to get out of their mess month after month after month. I've tried my hardest to have a good network of people around me, and I just feel that I'm watching every tax dollar that comes into my office, but I try to give people resources, and I help them out with the tax dollars also. I just hope that you will give me your vote and I'm excited for another four years to be Harrison Township trustee. And thank you, Harrison Township. All right. Thank you, Sherry, for coming thank by. Thank you, guys. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Harrison yeah. County tr uh, 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 Trustee. Uh, uh, Harrison Township thank Trustee. trustee. That's how much is hard as saying uh, Sherlyn's name. Harrison Township trustee. trustee. We'll get it right here. But sometimes I just try you. Just, yeah. just, you know, <laughs> and I fail every time I do This yeah. is Debbie Kidd. Yes. Yes. Kid. God, yes. What a beautiful smile. Thank you. You're lighting up the room. There you know what Debbie is? Debbie is what the auditor. Oh, oh, but I'm you had a sign. I, had, That's I right. knew that. I yeah, prove it. Me. Prove to me you knew that. Uh, I've seen her ads on television, or, okay. uh, television on the, in the paper and stuff. I've seen her. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're 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 the uh, auditor, and uh, you know you obviously want to keep doing it. Keep you know. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this I just finished finishing my my first term. Okay. So okay. four years. Okay. Before you that, know what I the was auditor treasurer. Does. For six auditor is one a, a buddy of mine's auditor in Franklin County, Steve Brack. So okay. he told me about I this. Know you know Steve. Steve? He yeah. goes to my church. A great guy. Um, the auditor, you are you are the one that goes through the books like a fine tooth comb. Well, we what we do is we we pay the bills of the county. That's two. We do uh, payroll of all county employees. Uh, we do settlement of all tax monies. We we handle she gives all the, the city our money. Yes, yes, make sure that yes. we get our money. Yeah. That's right. That's she right. gives us our fair make share. Yeah. Yeah. We calculate the taxes. We work together a lot. We're, yeah. When we're hurting for money, we work together. If we run short in the city, we can ask her for an advanced tax draw mm -hmm. for taxes that are already come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. she can help us out that way. Yeah. 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 So you work. I mean, you are. This is a total countywide, and obviously help oh, yes. the city as yeah. well. Yeah. A big we, we collect. We collect taxes for the for the city, the library, the school. Wow. What property tax they get? All the townships and a uh, little little piece of Glenwood. Also, we, oh, wow. we collect and distribute their taxes to. She them, handles so. the riverboat money. She handles oh all the money. Coet. Yeah. yeah. In fact. 
the county council, and what she is the secretary for the county council or the recorder or whatever you'd call it, yeah. they review the city budget. They don't have anything to say about the city budget, but they have to review it. Do before a non, it non binding state. review. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you're, you're a busy it's a woman. It's a hard office. I yeah. am. It is. We, we, we actually, um, last year I lost an employee due to uh, layoffs because uh, the county general budget's been strapped. and. So it just, you have to step up to the plate and, you know, put another hat on and do more work. Wow, wow. Yeah. And, and with that in mind, you still want to do it again? <laughs> yeah, I really do. I, re I, I feel like I've served the citizens well, and, and I want to continue for another four years. You know. good, good, good. De Debbie, I've known her since she was, I think I've known her since she was in high school. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, I, her grandmother was the sweetest. Oh. She was a sweetheart. She was fish. Oh, yeah. she yeah. was a lovely lady. Uh -huh. Wasn't she, Dad? She oh, was a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, you and know, she liked me. Not many people like me, but she liked me. <laughs> oh, yeah. people love you. You yeah. know That's better right. than that. Uh, Debbie, you need to look over there at the camera and hey. tell them exactly why you want to be auditor. I, I want to continue another four years as, as your county auditor. Um, I have good connections with. Uh, with all the state offices, and um, I'm, I'm experienced at, at settlements and doing the, the property tax abstract, and I want to continue for another four years as a hard-working county auditor. Right. Thank you, Debbie. Hey, thanks. Debbie, God bless you, and uh -huh. good luck in November. Uh -huh. Tell Steve yeah. I said hi. I will. I'll tell Steve, absolutely. You know, I tell you, again, He goes to your church. Yeah, yeah. Steve Pratt. Yeah. He's the and auditor he's of Franklin County. He's got a big job. Yeah, he sure yeah. does. He's Thank running you. again this year. And yeah. here are some people that I love. Okay. Hey there. I'm going to have to give her a hug, Leonard. Yeah. I, I love this woman right here, Cindy Perez. Oh, it's good. I think oh, I dropped right. my phone. Oh, Angel. Oh. Love Angel. Yeah, Angel Perez, give him a hug, too. Hi, Mr. Mayor. How you doing? Angel, how you doing? Give him a hug. Barkley Bigelow, sir. Barkley Bigelow. Yeah, Barkley. Bigelow. Sorry, Barkley. I was going to give Barkley a hug, but <laughs> he'd strangle me. No, no, wait. This, this, That's Barkley Bigelow. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, I know that's John Connor. No, no sir, I'm afraid you've got me mistaken for yeah. someone else. Yeah. I am Barkley Bigelow. Barkley Bigelow. Well, I would have swore it was John Connor. I thought it was John Connor, too. He kind of resembles John a little bit. <laughs> well, he is a handsome fellow, sir, and I am proud to be mistaken for him, but I'm not. <laughs> well, you can't get everything you right. Can't. No, I know, I know. Imagine Performing Arts. Imagine Performing Arts, Connorsville's new civic theater. That's right. You know, we're part of the Richmond Civic Theater. I'm on yes, the board of directors, and I tell you, I've always wanted something down here. A lot of us go to Richmond. It's mm -hmm. good to have something back down here. Cindy Press, tell us all about it. Well, we're really excited. We've just gotten started this year. Uh, we had our first show, Barkley Bigelow's Hull of a Loop Review. Uh, it went very well. We kept have, having to add chairs all night long. That's awesome. That's a good thing. We're having our first public meeting uh, August the 23rd at 2 o'clock at the Connorsville Public Library. And then this fall, we'll be doing some workshops, a production workshop, an acting workshop, and a workshop for the kids because, you know, they're our future. That's right, that's right. That's, that's good. Right. Good for you. You know what yeah. I did? What'd I heard do? about them. Yes. And I was excited. I've worked with her. My mother passed away about 12 years ago and she had a 1928 fur coat. It was an A1 shape and I didn't want to throw it away. I didn't know what to do with it. So I talked to Jim down at our church. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, oh yeah, Jim? Jim? Yes. Of course I said, Jim, Jim, could you put that in your closet for and it's really the 1920s era. Yeah. And I brought that dude home two weeks ago. I've got it hanging in my garage, and I'm going to give that to them for the, well, what do you call it, your costume. For our costume shop, yeah. excellent. Yes. I want them to do something. I know the stage at the 4-H building is small, but I want mm -hmm. them to do something over there this winter. Just, I, I'd well, like for them to do, do something. We're hoping for auditions in the winter and then a spring show. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we can come up with something that would use that wonderful we, coat. We remodeled that and we put a lot into it we and I want to something. see something in there. The yeah. balls for coat. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, we have to. And I tell you, I've worked with her. Cindy taught me five things in particular at uh, Brighton Beach Memoirs. A little inside I, joke I, there. <laughs> but, but I tell you, working with her, I've worked with her many times. The woman has never cast me in a show. I've auditioned I for keep many trying. times. She's trying, but I'm, she's never casted me, Leonard. Well, I was, but I I was, get I was in a her. movie with you. You weren't yeah, that bad. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but Cindy, yeah. Cindy has a lot of. Uh, but, but anyways, I've worked with her. I'm finally directing my first show, and I've learned a lot from her. We're uh, excited about your I am first excited show. About it. Yes, I am. So, three Musketeers. Uh, but, but again, this is something Connors has needed for a long time. Angel, mm -hmm. you've watched her, supported her with her. What gets you involved in too, besides the the love of your wife? Well, you know, I'm. Uh, my my job is the graphics. Yeah. And the advertising and the promotion. Yeah, did you come up with a shirt? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, and the logo. Yeah, it's a beautiful logo. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And, uh, Thank you. They're black and white. Mm -hmm. I like um, red. 
It was red. Like it behind the scenes a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I tell you, one of the things, again, we had John Connor players. How long ago was that, Cindy? Uh, they went away in 92, I believe. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so 20 something years later, it's finally mm -hmm. in the That will back. help our whole city and our oh, whole yes. county. Oh, the quality of life in town. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Got her. Yes. We, we, we yeah. have, you know, again, we're, we do a lot of stuff up in Richmond, but there are the Sumans, uh, Wayne mm -hmm. Grease, and. Um, uh, Spencer Milligan, there are so many people from that this lady town. that Linda made Ward. our movie that was yeah, Linda Ward. Linda yeah, Ward, yeah, the Crabby Lady. Yeah, the Crabby Lady. Yeah, she did that when she yeah. was typecast. Uh, no, she didn't say that, oh. but it's she You know what she told me? What's that? She's wasn't hard for me. I'm just naturally crazy. That's right, yeah. yeah. Linda was yeah. beautiful in that movie. And, and I tell you, but there's so many people that work up there mm -hmm. that we want a place to play down here. So uh, I need to get involved more. Absolutely. I need to get involved more because I tell you, I love this community. I love the arts. I'll advertise for you. I know you will. I'll yeah. take tickets. Yes, there you go. Okay. You can, yeah, absolutely. And we're, we're really excited to be uh, partnering up with several members of the community. The Fayette County Foundation yeah. gave us a mini grant and they helped us to build our float for the parade and I have saw our booth your float. here. It was nice. And oh. Several people sitting by me said, what is that? And I told them, they said, oh, we like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That'll bring a little culture to our community. Yes. yes. And you guys are a 501c3? Yes. Uh, they are our fiscal okay. partner. So okay, good. through okay, them, good. yes. Good. Okay, good. So yeah. any donations can be tax, tax deductible. Absolutely. Is there any website? Uh, it's that you guys it's have. on its way. On its way. Okay. Imagineperformingarts.com. It's under construction. You can go there. It has a billboard. Um, we're on Facebook. That's where we've been updating lately. Lots of pictures and things. Uh, we have a uh, email. Imagineperformingarts at gmail.com. We have a YouTube page. Oh, Same wow. name. Good. So just look us up under Imagine Performing Arts. Yeah, just, we'll look forward to those performances. Absolutely. Yes, and and I hopefully mm -hmm. maybe Cindy can cast me in some sometime. I hope yeah, so. Maybe. I'll, I'll rock. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? It's I love hard. this woman very much. I don't want you to be a complete failure. I know. Oh, I, know. I, know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you there, Angel. Thank you. God bless Thanks you, buddy. So God bless you, buddy. Thank you very much, time. Cindy. Uh, Cindy, we got to get involved thank in you, this sir. more. Yes. More involved. Thank Thanks, you very much, Barkley. Barkley. Say it later, Bark. There you go. <laughs> All right, take Bar care. Barkley Bark. Or, Bar I forgot his name, but Barkley. That's it. Yeah, what a great guy. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wonderful. This, this guy oh, here. Oh, yes. How are, How are you, yeah. sir? In the parade the other day, he come riding around on a, on a flatbed with a gun, but the gun was facing the wrong way. He was going this way and the gun was going that way. Now, how can you shoot a gun when you're going this way and the gun's going that Maybe way? Maybe somebody was behind him chasing him. I don't know. Could have been it. Oh, that was uh, Rad Aber, my friend Rad Abernathy behind me in that half track with all those guns pointing in all directions. So you were shooting at him. <laughs> I was ready for him. Ready for him. Yeah. This man here is famous. I believe he was born in Kentucky. Nope. You were nope. born here? Right here in Connor. All of your ancestors were born in Kentucky. Most lot, everybody is right I know here. his ancestors. They're in the funeral business down yeah. there in Kentucky. I know them. I've been yeah. down there to visit them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're and good you're people. Famous. That's what the mayor says. I know no, he's I would, famous. I would never say that. Oh, I know he is. Yeah. If you go down there in Kentucky and you mention his name, they all claim kin to him. All of them. Every bit. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. really believe all that? I, I, I'm buying every minute of it. Yeah, he's on the county council. <laughs> yeah, you're on the county and he, council. And he's running again. Yeah, and we interviewed. You when know you his ran. name, don't you? Yeah, Dale, Dale Strong. Yeah. Yeah, he's Absolutely. strong. Dale yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. strong Dale. Dale and, Strong. Because we interviewed yeah. when he when he ran again. Yeah. Yeah. Or when he ran like the he first time. He was on a city council ago. one time. That's right. Yeah, That's twice, right. two yeah. terms. Pardon? You were on city council once. Yes, twice. I was on the city yeah. council yeah. two times. And 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 what keeps you coming back? I I enjoy the work. I'm civic minded, like. He's a, he's a Democrat, you know. No, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Well, I want you to know that, though. Oh, I know. Yeah, you don't hold that against me. Oh, no, I love him. I've loved him all his life. Yeah. Okay. We, how long have we been you. friends? 40 years. 40 plus years. Have probably. we ever had a disagreement over our politics? We, we've never had a never. cross word. No. Never. Yeah, you know, I tell you, I'm... I'm starting to feel, you know, I, I came in here feeling like, you know, I've got a grandbaby, but I'm feeling young since you guys have been friends about as old as I am. Yeah, well, That's wonderful. Yeah, but That's you're, you're beginning to look old. <laughs> you're right. Better. Well, <laughs> so, Dale, again, running for your, your what, I forget, commissioner or council? I'm running for re-election for uh, county council in District 2. District 2. What does that entail, Dale? Yeah. Uh, if you live north of 20th Street to the county line, 
Yeah, or anywhere in Waterloo Township. So we're That's, in District we're 2. We're in District 2, yes. I yes. live on 37th Street. Yeah, I yeah. live over you there. You live in Fade Apartments? Yeah, yeah. you're in my we're district. in your district. You're in your district? Yeah. Yeah. You could vote for it. I could vote for you. We yeah, may do that. Did. Hey, listen. I just may do that. Well, Dale has done a good job. Yes. Uh, Dale's a good citizen. I believe you retired from Visteon, didn't you? Yes. I had to retire when Visteon closed. Yeah. Oh, so you stayed there to the end? Practically. Did right you have your 30 and out? Yes, I was there over 36 years. Yeah, good wow. for you. Yeah. Wow. But I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. When I go down to Kentucky and I say I know Dale Strong, I say, we all know Dale Strong. <laughs> they do. Yeah. yeah. So, Dale, <laughs> you, you're obviously famous in Kentucky. Yeah. But born mm -hmm. here in Connorsville, you have a love for the town. What made you stay the whole time? A lot of people were leaving. Some people want to leave. I never had enough money for a bus ticket. <laughs> Do you know what? If they ever start Hee Haw again, he could be one of the stars. Look at him. That's true. Doesn't he look like he belongs on Hee Haw? Huh? Doesn't he? Yeah. Hee Haw! Hee Haw! Hee -haw. Yeah. I think so. I love that show. I, was I did too. I don't know why. The other day. Tell those people, they'll point at the camera. Tell them why you want to be county councilman. Why I'm on the county council? No, why do you want to be, be county councilman? Why again? Okay, my, uh, I want my friend Sam Harvey sitting back there watching me to hear this. Because <laughs> Sam's listening. Sam and I are old friends. Oh, we yeah. go back a long He's way. He's a Republican, you know. Yes, okay. but I've never held that against him. Okay. Um, my, my goal on the, on the county council is to leave, leave the county government in better condition than what I found it. Basically, that's that's it. That's we, we, we got we've got to make the system work with what we have to work with. That's a good that's a good thing. That's very good. Put her there. Right. Dale Strong, okay. always a pleasure seeing you. Good seeing you. God ben, bless Ron. you. God bless, bless you, buddy. You both. Yeah, thank you very much, Dale. Vote for him, County Council District Two. District Two. That's yeah. our district. That's our district, district Two. Okay. Right. God bless you. Thank you thank very you. much. Bye, guys. I tell you, I think we have uh, the guy with the perfect name running for judge. Why you see he's got a perfect name? I, I love his last name. I, I've all you know. I tell you what, Paul Freed. How you doing, Paul Freed? I Freed. think that was a perfect. And you know what? You came to my house and dropped this little thing off. I, yeah. I was gone, uh, the magnet or whatever on my door and everything. I thought. I, I, I told some people his name was Paul Freed, and they said, "No, it's Paul Freed." I said, "No, it's Paul Freed." Nobody ever had the name Freed. It's Freed. Don't you understand? It's Freed. <laughs> yeah. I said, "No, it's Freed." I know the no, guy. It's Freed. Freed. It yeah. is Freed. So, it is right. Look, Correct. it's F R E, right there it is. and there's a D on it. That's right, Freed. Freed. Again, that's. Uh, it's not Fred. It's Freed. It's Freed. That's correct. That's right. Paul Two E's in the D. Running for judge. What? What? Uh, which? I forget. Uh, forgive me, Leonard. I forget which which judge ship is running. That's the Superior Court. Superior Court. Uh, yeah. Judge Ertle is retiring yeah. after uh, two terms, and it's an open seat. Yeah. And uh, it's the Superior Court. That's correct. What got you to say I'm coming out of the uh, prosecutor's office and I'm going to run for judge? Well, I'm very familiar with that court. I've been uh, working as a deputy prosecutor. Uh, principally, uh, my responsibilities were in that very court for almost nine years now. Uh, I've handled over 7,000 criminal cases in that court during that time. So uh, certainly I'm very familiar with the uh, goings on of the Superior Court uh, and um, have seen it up close for many years now. Uh, and prior to that as a defense attorney as well. And uh, uh, I think that there's uh, many things that can be done. I think there's improvements to be made. And I feel confident that I can do that. So he has, you have a uh, Paul from both sides, from being a, a, de a deputy prosecutor uh, and also on the side of being defense. So you can, that's correct. So you can see both sides. You know what? Yeah. I asked an attorney one time. I said, "How do you decide what side to be on?" He said, "Whatever side's paying." <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> you can do both sides, but you can't do them at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's against the law. That's right. Yeah. Again, six years is this term for for uh, superior. Court. It is. It's a lengthy term for the judge's uh, position, unlike many of the other positions. A six-year term. So it only increases the importance of people uh, looking into the uh, candidates even more closely because, uh, you know, of the length of the term that you'll have the uh, person who you elect. So I would invite everyone to do that, to, uh, to do a thorough investigation of the candidates and uh, look into our backgrounds and make a wise choice that you can be happy with uh, for six years. Can, can we get any free tickets in case we get in trouble or anything? Oh, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. We, we, have to, we haven't found anybody no, that will I give us I think, we, I think I we can't go, I we just, can't go I that route, Mayor. Paul, I, I, I hope to not see you. 
in the courtroom. Outside, great, but inside, I hope not to. Yeah. I don't want to be, you know. Of course, what you types handle the speed of things? What no types to. of things? Well, would the, you take care the of? mayor's in charge of the of the police department anyway, so he can just go directly to the <laughs> oh, source. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, police, the police are harder on me <laughs> than they are anybody. Yeah, I was going to say you handle the speedy tickets, right? So hey, that's when right. I, when I'll I, see you. When I leave my there. office, I put my seatbelt on. When I'm in my office, I watch me. John Baker is a city attorney. He says, you're the only one I ever rode with that rides the speed limit. <laughs> I don't want my name in the paper. Well, is I, that right? I, I, no, I, yeah. I, I have too many speed Paul, tickets. tell the camera. That one right there, he's got his hand yes, sir. Why you want to be judge? Uh, hi. Uh, again, my name is Paul Freed. That's F-R-E-E-D. And I'm uh, running for the Superior Court Judge's position. Uh, as you heard me say earlier, I have a great deal of experience uh, as an attorney generally. Uh, both in criminal defense and in prosecution for the last uh, nearly nine years. Uh, I have personally handled over 7,000 criminal cases in that court and I have the detailed knowledge of what it takes to make those cases uh, uh, be handled in a way that's fair to each and every defendant. Uh, one must follow the law in uh, each case. Each individual defendant is different. We need to do something about uh, getting uh, uh, serious about uh, intervention with uh, rehabilitation. Certainly we have drugs at the core of many of our problems and to uh, otherwise uh, deal with each individual case on its own merits. I appreciate your vote. Thank you. Paul Freed, God bless you, buddy. And good luck. All this right. starts the stump season. All right. Thank there you we go. for coming by. Thank did you. you eat chicken yesterday? I sure did. I did. Uh, God, a good man. I All right. Chicken. How do you eat chicken? <laughs> I, did, did. I know you didn't eat chicken. Uh, Thanks, guys. Thank Thank God you. bless you, Paul. Appreciate Thank it. you very much. I you think here comes that. another you, lady. You know what? We've been sitting up here now for at least 20 minutes okay. talking to people, trying to do our best. Look like someone to bring us a drink. I know, we're thirsty, Where's John. Where's our lemonade? We're, we're, yeah, can't you get so enough money gotta, together to get us a I lemon shake-up? Yeah, get, get your lemon like shake-up, uh, water, lemon shake ice up. water. Yeah. i got to give this lady a hug. I love no, her. No, wait, no. I, 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 I You can't love her because I love her. Well, you love her, too. That's group, no, I, that's I, group I, hug. Group hug. Yay! Oh, did you get that group hug? Oh. Yeah, no, let me tell you, I went to college with Holly. Oh, did you? One of my 20 years of college, as you know. Yeah. Leonard supported me when we went to church together. 20 and years. Holly was Holly and I. Uh, we did television took, production. We did. Yes, we did, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. We did. You we, mean you're we, a professional? Uh, now I am. And here I am messing with you, working with you. Okay. I feel embarrassed. Oh gosh, you know better than that. Oh. And, and Holly and I, we did television production, Spanish. Well, I can't and speak other, Spanish. No, I was terrible. Can you speak Spanish? I was, I was bad. Yeah. yeah, I was worse. Yeah. But you know why I, I love Holly? Really because she is good to our children. Yes, she is. I she met is. her three or four years ago, and from the first day, I knew that her heart, your heart's yeah. right there, was yeah. just perfect. Her heart's on her sleeve. Well, and I have a racy shirt on the night. Yeah. It's worth the wait. It's yes, worth it the wait. What's it say in the back? Keep them up. Yes. Oh, yes. That, well, yeah. She yeah. is so good to our kids. She's an asset to this community. Yes. And we've tried at the city to help her in her yeah. endeavors, and I think we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've bought tables. We've done things for her. Mm -hmm. We've tried to make it easier for her, and she really is making a difference here. This is her ministry. Yeah. This is where she's at. God has placed she's her here. She's given her life to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, they're really. you guys are really sweet to me. I well, have a lot of truth. help. It's yeah. not well, just me. Well, I have tons of help. Shout out to your people. Well, you know, I, I mean, the whole, you guys, the city has really been supportive, and lots of churches in our community, and um, plus, as far as a, a ministry team, I mean, I couldn't do it without Jackie and Tim Bearclaw, Cindy and Warren Spears, Jesse and Michelle Kelly. They are with me all the time. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I know you've turned hundreds of lives around. Absolutely. But at just one life would be worth it all. Right. And I, I've said for years, if you could catch kids in the first or second grade mm -hmm. and each kid feel there is something important in them, there won't be any drug problems. I but agree with that. Every kid... They just need to be loved and accepted Absolutely. and feel like they belong. You got it. Kind of goes back to Maslow, all the you way to the bottom. Yeah. You know, Holly, Holly has been with me. Uh, I've known her for, for over 10 years now. Love every minute of it. And she was with me when, when my daughter went through some stuff. Uh, you were there praying and supporting my daughter. And now that she's a mother, you have seen her grow. Uh, and, and really, i got to give a lot of credit to Holly and your influence with her because my daughter to this day always talks about how kind you were. And that time we were in Randy Judd's office, how wonderful that was. My daughter still talks about that. It has changed her life forever. And you had a big influence on that. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. And as a parent, that, somebody... That, that's a testimony. It is. And as a parent who's somebody who supports... I've always supported my child. But I, you, I can't do everything. We can't do everything no, for our children. And for her to be that positive, I, I love you. That's what well, my daughter you. says. I love you too. I love you too. Mm -hmm. 
Love you forever. My daughter says she's wonderful. Absolutely. Says dad, she is wow. just wonderful. And I, Goodness, my, my head is going to be so big. I, I'm not going to foul the bed. I've been lucky. My daughter child. hasn't given me any trouble. No, but she's fantastic. I think she she thinks the world of you, and she she believes in what you're doing well, because she talks about you. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. God has just opened up just unbelievable amount of doors. When I I mean, I'm not from Connorsville, no. and I really never planned to be here, but from day one. I just have fallen in love with the youth in our town and really just how giving, I mean, like our community is. They they accepted me like I was born and raised here. And I, I walk in and I um, just feel loved. We love feel, each other. Sometimes loved. we I fight, feel loved. but we don't fight long. We love each other. Right, and, yeah. I, and I just, I, I feel like the doors have just opened up for us to, you know, like we we got the Haven a year ago right now, which is, is our actual. Has been that long already? It's been wow. one year right I, now. We, every time fact, I come up to that intersection, I look yeah. over there. Yeah, one year ago we voted on it at the pool as a board and to move into that building and so we've been in there almost a year we've worked on it for about a month and since that time like we were able to get a mentoring program started within like just weeks we had 35 kids signed up and community members that agreed to be mentors and just meet with kids once a week and that was actually a partnership through the school That's and then um, we've worked with celebrate recovery and starting a youth version on thursday nights called the landing and then we've continued to have fuel on fridays and every year we're able to have camps and have a tent here all week long. And Acquire the fire. We'll acquire the My fire. We take a hundred kids. Every year. Yeah. So I mean, we really—it's like a full-time ministry, but the community has really helped us to kind of wrap around and reach. Like tonight, there was a, the drug coalition had a coloring contest, so we had little tiny kids. Um, in there, coloring pictures all the Did way up you to. You should have colored something later. Yeah. Oh, I'm good at coloring. Yeah. I'm Are good you at an coloring. artist? Oh yeah. No, Between I'm the lines, and... I'm far from an artist. <laughs> Paint by my, numbers. My best painting's on the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Paint by numbers. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, tonight we've made bracelets. Oh yeah, those are um, nice. I la like the color. You well, yeah. you can have it. It's wet. You can. I don't care. It's it's oh, wet. What, 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 what arm do you wear Here, it on? Let's put right it on. Right on. And it'll fit oh, your fingers. Oh look at No, no, I think that's your color. I think it is. There you go. Yeah. So it, oh, it, that's it's tone, doesn't it? That's a glowing right. Did you make that? I made that. Uh, just for you, Leonard. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Thank you. Well, and last night we sang karaoke until about 11:30. Yeah. And then, I can't sing. Uh, and we just danced Monday night. I can dance a little yeah. when my I, back don't but hurt. We, heard, we heard about it earlier with Sandy. Yeah, yeah, I dance. He's a beautiful yeah. dancer. Who? Leonard's a great dancer when he was well, talking to Sandy. In my younger day. Uh, well, you could have followed the little computer person yeah, dancing. Oh, give it a try. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for coming by. Oh, thank you for and having me. If there's me. anything we can do to help, you know where we are. All right. Well, you're probably well, I'm going to hug you. Well, Come on. You. It's yes. all good. Love if you hug him, you got to hug me. All right. God bless you. Thank you. you. Thank you guys so much for having God me. God bless you. God bless you. You know, Leonard, I think somebody may have gotten yeah. us yeah. some. You know, what? you know what? <laughs> what can I say? I heard there were some thirsty people here. Oh, yeah. Is this man. So, oh, man. Oh, uh, man. Is it the guy said. The guy said it was the best lemon shake oh, up at the fair. You know, so. I, I, oh, I, 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 I so can't thirsty. take a drink because I am so uh, lemon is so bad for me that I. Well, well I thought I heard you? lemon shake. Well, he ups. did. I said, okay, but, uh, John. We'll have to get you something else. James, then. I love you though. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Leonard, you may I bring my. Uh, my, bring, my bring, them, bring them all in here. Kids. Absolutely, little Fraley. These are my honey. Uh, Come on, Fraley. This is my son, Jack. Jack, how are you, buddy? Jack, you want some lemonade? I didn't do it. You we have you an extra have there. there you, well, go. you just take it all. You can't have mine. The whole time. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You, you can hold it all. <laughs> all right. But guys, if you turn around, you can see the yeah, camera. Look at the, the camera, camera over there. I'll hold it right here for you, Jack. Yeah. You know something? I heard on TV <laughs> that red hair is what disappearing. Not, 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 in our not, family. No, <laughs> no. not in our family. Like I'm part of this. But seriously, the they say they say it's going to be extinct in I don't know 50 years or something. Maybe not. It'll be yeah. right here. The Freelys will continue to have it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Sir, you're running for judge. Obviously, I, yes. Superior Court judge. My name is James Fraley, and I'm running for Superior Court judge. And this is my family. This is my wife Nicole here. We're both uh, attorneys here in Fayette County, and these are our children. All four of them. Are there any Fraley's that aren't attorneys? Are there yes, those kids? There are, there are Isn't there like the Fraley, <laughs> Schilling, and Schultz? Oh, that's, that's a trucking that company. That's oh, yeah, that's the truck. Okay, that's Is that your family, too? Thank you. Right. Hey, by gosh, everybody's doing uh, okay, so good Oh, they, okay. Hey, John. Okay. Yeah. John. Okay. Put a little stool yeah, over here where we can put our... You got the family involved. Right over there, uh, so obviously, this was a family decision for you to, to want to run for office. Family decision, Leonard. A well, family decision. Obviously, family no decision question. for them to run for office. Uh, by the family and, and for the family and, and for the community, too. Uh, I believe in Fayette County. It's the reason that we moved here. Where did you come from? Well, 
immediately before we came here, we were in law school, Nicole and I, about to raise her. And that's where we met, fell in love, married, and she was pregnant with Jack when we graduated. Oh, wow. I, I grew up in Fort Wayne. Oh, okay. And my parents still live there. And Nicole is from Liberty. And uh, when we graduated from law school, we were looking for a place to raise our family and start our business. Uh, we considered uh, a handful of places all in Indiana, but Fayette County was home to us. Uh, we love the uh, values of the people here in Fayette County. We value family and children and hard work. And uh, they're smart with their money. Uh, they're not showy and ostentatious with their money. And that, those were values we wanted to raise our children on. That's why we brought them to Fayette County. We know that the county is facing challenges, but uh, families face challenges too. And, That's right. And a county is, is a big family. That's right. And uh, as your next Superior Court judge, I'm going to do everything I can in that office, on and off the bench, to uh, make sure Fayette County is a place that people want to come to and raise their families. Okay. Uh, what kind of things does a does the uh, Superior Court judge, do you, do you take care of everything? you take care of divorces, uh, well, the, everything? The Superior Court has general jurisdiction, so it, uh, the Superior Court can hear uh, many different kinds of cases. But in Fayette County, on the criminal side, uh, mostly uh, misdemeanors and low felonies, although... Traffic tickets, because yes, I get certain, lots of traffic tickets. That kind of thing. Our small business owners are certainly concerned about small claims, and that's where uh, small claims happen is in the Superior Court. But uh, a very long list of things that the Superior Court judge is responsible for, and I'm ready to do the job uh, for the benefit of all the people in Fayette County and the state of Indiana. Have you ran for office before? Never. No, I, I think that's 100%. something that, that... And he's a young man. Yeah. I we got a lot of young people yeah, running do. for office. That's good. And that's, that's very good. good. Yeah. I don't get called young at home and not. No, no, not I am. Not. <laughs> yeah. well, to me, I you're young. I feel young today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm 43 years old. Me too. Oh, my. Uh, be 44 before the election. But uh, we. Uh, I got kids that old. Yeah, that's right. Well, I went to high school with Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah I that's that right. Guy. Yeah. Well, well. Uh, one thing, your office is right down there by Brian's bookstore. That's right. And for the last, well, ever since Brian's been there, I've been walking by there, whether I've been the mayor or not, because yes. I love to go to Brian's because I love Brian. Sure, we do too. Um, but is that your mother-in-law that's in there with you? That's right. I uh, have been working. See, totally I've family. Been, I've been <laughs> confused because totally I thought that was your mother. Oh, oh, no, that's Nicole's mother. She's from Liberty. That's right. She's from Liberty. Yeah. Yes, Carol Weber and Nicole Fraley now are my law it, partners. Oh, see, I'm getting it straight. And, okay. uh, yes, I've been working with my mother and my mother-in-law for the last 10 years, and it has been a very happy and, and productive mm -hmm. and successful relationship. Well, I, I hope that tonight... You know, we're not here politically tonight. This is the fair. We're here for fun. That's right. And what we're trying to do, uh-oh, somebody lost their mic. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. That's all right. I don't know. Someone must have tripped over the but board. But anyway, <laughs> what we're trying to do is just promote Fayette County Fair. And Absolutely. We're talking to all the people that are running for office. And we're, we're just trying to be... We're really, rather fun. Right, it's, yeah, we're kind of like... The fun. rat race starts after the fair. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Well... This, this is a great event for the yeah. people of Fayette County. Yeah. Uh, have everybody here in one place. The parade was a fantastic event. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying to a gentleman at the fish fry dinner, that very thing, to have uh, our community and so many people in one place, it just shows how strong we are and how determined we are to overcome the challenges Can we're facing. Can I brag on that parade once? Please do. Sam Foreman and I chaired the first Shrine Fair Parade. That's what it was called then. There's Way back there, yeah. Sam was a great guy. It was our idea because we were Shriners to start the parade. I did it for about 12 years, and then we drop out out. Lincoln Manor Centers have taken over, and now it's the fair parade, and uh, it's a great event. It's wonderful. It was wonderful to see I everybody out there. I think I've been there. someplace. I either been lining it up or in it ever since it started. But we're proud that you were here tonight and bring these redheaded kids. Thank kids. you. Beautiful. Thank you. Say hi to the camera, yeah. guys. Hey, guys, hey, say hey, hi. Tell the camera why you want to be judge. Yeah. Well, I want to be judge, and uh, I want to serve you as your judge because Fayette County and Connersville are my hometown. I moved here 10 years ago, like I've said, with my wife, Nicole, because we wanted to make this our hometown and raise our family here. And I want to be your judge because I want to make Fayette County the kind of place that is great to raise a family in. And while we are great now, we have challenges to face and as your next Superior Court judge, I'll do everything I can do to make sure that that office 
runs in a way that's efficient and reflects the values of the people of the state of Indiana and as always follows the law to the letter. Right. Ask for your vote on November 4th. Thank you, Ron. God bless you. Thank, thank you, you so James. much. Thank you, James. Thank you, thank you Mayor. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys. Nice to see Bye, you. Bye, guys. Hey, and thanks for the drink. Yes, thank no, you. You're welcome. Thank you. I was yeah, choking. You get your raspberry yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Jack, you want this, buddy? Yeah, you can have it, buddy. It's all yours. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you very much. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to put my drink I'm down. I'm going to put my water right here. I and listen. How it, are you? I'm good. How are if you? If you knock great. my lemonade over. I will not knock it over, I promise. <laughs> okay. Because I know how you get excited. Here, yes. Yeah. Hey, you know we what we're doing share here? This what are we doing microphone? Right here? We're taking a double one. This is, a, this is the, because let me tell you. Now wait a minute. I want I, I want you. You're how smart I am. I, well, I know you. Are. Well, I'm really I've been not. It all night. This is Melinda. Yes, I know she. This is Mr. Sudoff. Yes, they're married. Yes, yes. Okay. He's the surveyor. Yes. The surveyor. Yeah. Yes. She's the clerk of the court. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you something, Melinda. Yeah. All right. When I because you've had signs out right for or something, but I, I thought I've seen something where Sudoff for surveyor, and I thought maybe you were changing to. So, oh, so anyway, you thought I, I was going in yeah, that field? No. Yeah. She can't even measure. Yeah. She yeah. can't no. even measure. Yeah, so. No, I haven't made any signs yet. Okay, well, so that's all right. maybe, maybe I don't know what I saw, but anyways, so you, you're, you're the clerk of court. I'm you're running again for that. I'm running again okay. for another four-year yeah, term. There you right. go. Yes. Two for one money. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. And we're both very blessed, and we don't have any opponents. Yeah, well, there, well you automatically <laughs> in it. There you hey, go. can I tell you something yeah, else? His grandfather was surveyor for years. That's right. It's a family That's thing. Right. Yeah. Wow. History, man. History. Well, yeah, and, yeah. And you and Annie used to always switch positions in the court. The yeah. You'd be a right. recorder, auditor, recorder. So, again, obviously, this is you're very aware of the courthouse. Been what there 24 what, years. Just to say, what keeps you going for another four years? I enjoy working with Obviously. the public. Well, she got to keep working. He's working. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Got to have his and her money, you know. Yeah. 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 Is this your first time running? First time running politically. But he I've been is appointed. Appointed. He's I've been in county government for over 20 years. Okay. I've been appointed okay. by commissioners as highway engineer. Okay. Uh, so this is your first time running. actually running. Being elected. Right. But he's unopposed. Yeah, well, yeah, there's some, yeah. Yeah, I'll so bet he wins. I would think you do. <laughs> yeah. I would think you would win. Yeah. Yeah, I think you would win. So obviously, you know, this you, your father did it for no grandfather. Grandfather, grandfather did it. For oh, years he was a great surveyor. Oh, he was known all over the country. Wow. More show. Wow. You can yeah. ask any place. My mom's dead. My mom's yeah. dead. Wow. So yeah. hey, what's what got you involved? She's so many a years daddy. Ago? Yeah, yes. That's my yeah. maiden name, Gettinger. Yeah. Um, actually, it was Albert Shaw that got me involved. Right. When we moved back uh, after we'd lived in Jay County for five years, and he said, you need to run for auditor. And I was like, no, nah, not me. And he said, yeah, she'd be good at it. So I ran and won and, and been here ever again. since. How many years have you served? 24. 24, so you'll wow. have 28 when you get down. Right. Isn't that yeah. something? Wow. Yeah. Well, is this going to be your last time, or are you going to wait? Oh. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Well, that. Annie's yeah. gone too. Yeah. So, yeah. Annie retired yeah. too. Yeah. You guys kind of came up about the same time, right? She was working at the courthouse when I became auditor. Okay. Uh, she had worked a year ahead of me. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and you've been public servant for you know appointed Over public servant. Twenty yeah. years. I was yeah. with NDOT before. Oh wow. Okay. I retired actually. Oh wow. From okay. Construction. Yeah. Sixteen and a half million dollar project. Oh wow! Inspection of wow. On, uh, use your heartland. Wow! Wow! So the, 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 the it's good family. to have him back in Fayette County. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a long trip. I, I <laughs> bet it was. Yeah. Yeah. Been a lot of miles on there. So uh, Leonard, you know, you talk about we, we, what's the common theme that Leonard and I talked about? Everyone who's ran for office, they have the love for the for for, for the county. The you guys service. obviously exude yeah. that. I was born here. This yeah. is my home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You want to make it true. You know, a lot of people, you know, sometimes they want to say something negative about Fayette County, but, you know, the people that run for the office, we see the negativity. You see it. But but there's that belief that it can be great. And why not, Leonard? Exactly. Well, I don't really believe that any elected official has ever run for office to destroy. Right. We just, sometimes we take a bad rap. Yeah. And we've that. all done it. We've right. all taken a bad right. rap. Yep. Right. Everybody who's... 
been you know, in before. If you're a minister or a leader yeah. or someplace, you take a bad rap. So. Yeah, absolutely. But this is really nice. We had two for one here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> two for one. And, and yeah. there's really no need to go to the camera and say why to oh, vote for you because you, well, yeah, yeah. you can if you want. Yeah, it's too late to have yeah. Yeah, yeah. Since yeah. there's no opponent. But that's the best yeah. way to run on a post. I've never had that privilege, but that's the best that's way to go. That's what I said. We're very blessed. Way, we appreciate so. that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. I just want to encourage everybody to get out and vote. Yeah, get out and vote. Get out and vote. Um, Voting is a privilege. That's right. It's a privilege, and we need to get out there and do that. You know, November 4th, nice. we'll be here before we know that's it. That's right. And then the absentee voting starts uh, the first week in October. That's right. So. It would be nice if we were known for we had a 90% vote oh. in Fayette County. Wouldn't that be something that would go all over the world? That would be awesome, yes. That would be fantastic. We'd be on CNN. Well, we need to be. Yeah. We'd, try, you know, we we'd need be to on get a, Fox News. Yeah, we'd, we'd be on be, all of it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. for we sure. We need to do a campaign for get out and vote like MTV did. Exactly. Get out and vote. Yes. Sam Harvey sitting there exactly. looking at us under the tree like, <laughs> Get out and vote. We, we know we're nuts. Yeah, yeah we, we know that. <laughs> we're here having fun. It's the fair. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. Thank hey, you. Melinda, God bless you. Warren, Warren, God bless you, yeah. sir. Thank you. God hey, bless you guys. Nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Another you. Another four Thank years you. of the suit-offs. Suit-off. <laughs> yeah. suit off. yeah. suit off. Two, <laughs> two for one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, two, that's that's awesome. I tell you what, Leonard, again. Well, I still got a, my, I still got a mine. I, I still got mine. Yeah. I think we're doing great. We're, we're right. winding down a little are, bit. Are we? Yeah, got another beautiful lady coming in. Uh, have we got everybody? Yeah. Uh, Hi, how are you know. tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. I'm Gertrude. Who are Gertrude, you? Gertrude Ronnie Wiley. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Mayor, good Mayor. to see you tonight. Gertrude, that's an old-fashioned name, you know. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Gertrude, yes. She's, a, she's a Whitaker. Whitaker, yes. Yeah. And if you know a Gertrude, I'm sure she's a lady that's a one good woman. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know who she reminds me of? Who she reminds you of? Tell me. Sarah Palin, you got that. Who? Sarah Palin, oh, with no. the shorter she don't hair. Look like Sarah I have Palin. never been told that in my Are you life. Kidding me? No, That's I'm not kidding. You know who she looks like to we me? We got it on camera. First well, I think ever. Sarah's she a beautiful like woman, so thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 auditor. Yes. Uh, She's uh, running for auditor. The auditor, you know, we, mm -hmm. you, you, a lot of things that auditors do. And, and is this your first time running for office? And why did you? Become this auditor? is my first time running for office. But she served a lot of political people in the past. She, she's worked in uh, some high offices. That woman comes from high places. Right. I have quite a bit of experience as far as supporting public offices yeah. with Cincinnati City Council, oh, wow. uh, with Phil Heimlich for almost eight years when he wow. was on city council, okay. um, also with nonprofit in the private sector, and then most recently yeah. working for six and a half years for Ohio's second district representative from Congress, Jean Schmidt, wow. as her district director. Wow, so you bring a lot of, of, of high profile uh, experience you bring mm -hmm. a lot of I mean you know how to get things done a go-getter a go-getter is a good way of doing it and one of the things you have to remember when you're working in public office or for an elected official there has to be a sense of collaboration and understanding that when you're in office you now represent the entire right. sector county city yeah. or whatever jurisdiction you've been voted for yeah. it's party is not the issue right. it's looking at who your stakeholders are who are your constituents and working to find solutions for the needs that they have. You know, Leonard talked earlier about Dale Strong. Remember, Leonard, when you talked about you and Dale, he's, you're Republican, he's Democrat, you guys haven't had a crossword. And one of the things work that you try to do, you work together. That's right. Work yes. together. And when you yeah. said the party is out the window because you are representative, you're a true representative of the jurisdiction, Right. how can you bring that to the auditor's office? Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you know, when you think of the auditor, I don't think it's somebody that truly represents me, but at the same time, it's one of those lost positions. It I'm is. Most of the public probably doesn't even yeah. understand what yeah. some of the responsibilities of the auditor's office mm -hmm. is. Right. Um, obviously, there's the abstracts, the mortgages, the settlements, mm -hmm. there's the department budgets, there's the payroll. These are all the behind the scenes type of responsibilities. But without that, there would be a standstill in the county administration and moving forward with those functions. Um, there has to be as well a very close collaboration with the county council and also with the county commission. And again, it's a collaboration. And Work realizing together. that yeah. we all are representing our constituents that have voted us into office. Yeah. Wow. And that is a high calling. That's a responsibility that we should never forget. And I think sometimes we forget as elected officials our duty to the voters who put us into office. And that is a trust that they've given us to be stewards of the resources and the stewards of the public service that we have now been placed in. It's not Gertrude Whitaker, it's now I, the elected representative uh, of the yeah. county of Fayette, yeah. so. Yeah, a very, a very, you know, a very simplistic approach to it that sometimes mm -hmm. seems to get lost. Right. Because a lot of times politics, and Leonard, you talked about this many times, 
people run for office. You didn't run for office to destroy the city. You ran for office to help, to uh, use your we talents. We thought we could do more yeah. things. We yeah, could and do, that's what people want to do. Improve, get things yeah. better. Yeah. People want to improve. Yeah. Nobody yeah. runs for I, office. I think politicians should go there for a time, do what they can do, and get out. This is a citizen exactly. government in yeah. the United States. Yeah. And, uh, and I think we've seen in Fayette County that constantly electing the same people over and over again and expecting different results. Not, and it never happens. What's that the definition of? That's, yeah, absolutely. And I bring a fresh perspective to this office as an outsider <laughs> from another community, from another city. I have chosen to come and live here in Fayette County with my family. Oh, enough of this seriousness. And She's married to Mr. Whitaker. You know, the her prince mother, among men. Her, her, her mother, her, her mother-in-law was, uh, tell her. Uh, my campaign treasurer is Louise Whitaker, who is also my mother-in-law. Tom and Louise Whitaker, who are retired educators here from Fayette oh, County, wow, okay. are my in-laws. Tom ran the uh, Eastview School for 100 years. Right, and everybody at Everton Principal Tom. and at Tom's Orange. President and Alliance. Clubs. Louise everybody. was out that, at Alquina. She's not a, she, and she acts like Fayette she's Central. a stranger here, but she's not. Uh, know. People know who you are. Yeah. So, so again, you made the choice to come back here, and again, I mean, you bring, you have big city experience. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to correct you. I didn't come back here. I chose to come here and live here for the first time. Oh, I was okay. born and raised in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. You know, and her husband's yeah, from yeah. here. I married You're, a Condorcet man. man. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. I again. love those people that come back because yeah. so many people tell me, you know, I interviewed about eight or ten for the utility job, and their wives wouldn't live here. And here's this lovely lady that's been high up in all of She yeah. wants to move back yeah. here and stay here. That's mm -hmm. awesome. But listen. And make a difference, too. Look into that it's camera and tell them why you want to be auditor. This is your chance. This right. is your debut here. All right. Thank you. I was wondering where that camera was with these bright lights. Right there. Well, my name right is Gertrude there. Whitaker, and I'm running for Fayette County Auditor. And I would appreciate your vote, because I think for too long in Fayette County that you haven't really had fresh choices and the opportunity to vote for people that truly represent your needs and will not do their own agenda, but work for the agenda of the county and to make this a better place to live. I ask for your support on November 4th, and I'll be around the county to visit and talk with you. Uh, my email address is committee, the number two, elect Gertrude Whitaker at gmail.com. Contact me, and I'll be more than glad to come and meet with you if you have an organization or a group that would like to have a little bit more insights as far as my position and my policy of where I stand and I'll be glad to get to know you a little bit better. Thank you. That's Gertrude. Yeah, Gertrude. God I, I always call right. her Gertrude. Very thank nice you. to nice meet, meet you. you. Thank too. you for the nice time to today. Yes. Mayor, I call, thank you for I your call time. I call her Gertrude. 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 It's my, an old-fashioned name, you know. My good friends call me Gertie. Gertie. Hey, well, you God know what? You, Gertie. It's an old-fashioned name, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And an old-fashioned name. Thank bless you, Mayor. You. Thank God you. Bless you. Thank you very much. I tell you what, you know, again, you talk about people, you know, making a choice to stay here. And that's not a, only making a wonderful. choice to live here, Thanks, but you're taking welcome. it upon yourself to make oh, a choice. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Oh, no. that's awesome. Awesome. Here comes another beautiful lady. Yeah, I tell you, I love this lady, too. Hello. I love her. She, just wonderful. We go back, she... I bet you don't go back with my divorce. Let's not, about that. Let's not talk about well, that. Let's not talk about that. It was a nice divorce. Yeah. But uh, great lady, uh, running for office, you're no stranger to, 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 to running for office. Uh, you're no stranger to the prosecutor's office, and that's the office you're running for. That's right. I've been with the prosecutor's office for 12 years. I've been the chief deputy. I handle the major felonies. That includes all of the child molest cases, the drug dealing cases, the meth labs, the burglaries and even the triple homicide trial that we did a few years back, that was my case. I'm the chief trial attorney in the office and handle um, all the matters that come through circuit court, which is about a little more than 300 cases a year. So I estimate, although I don't keep count, I estimate that I've got about 3,000 convictions wow. over my career with the prosecutor's office. And like I said, I don't keep count because it's not a conviction record that's important. What's important is that we work continually to make this the best county to live in and the community that we all grew up in and want to stay in. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, you know, you talk, we talked earlier with Joey and a couple of the other uh, people running for office, the drug issue is a big, big issue. And not one person can really, you know, what can you do as a prosecutor? Obviously, tougher sentences, but it's you and the judge. And there's a collaboration. It's not just you as a prosecutor, but you've got to work together with the other offices, correct? Oh, absolutely. I've been fortunate to work with the Rough Drug Task Force and just our local police departments in battling this problem. They've brought us cases that have been so professionally done. 
and handed us the tools that we need to convict people and send them away for dealing drugs. We don't want people to deal drugs in our community. We don't want them dealing to the people in our community. And it's causing just a terrible, terrible epidemic. And we need to get a handle on it. So in order to do that, I'm going to keep at the drug cases. Because what we find is people that are dealing drugs and using drugs are stealing from us to pay for those drugs. Absolutely, yes. And unfortunately, when someone breaks into your home, the police officers aren't there. They can't tell me for sure who it was. And it's hard to prove that beyond a reasonable doubt to right. a jury. Yeah. But whenever they bring me someone selling drugs on a controlled buy, the jury knows who did it. And we've done a yeah. lot of that. And we yes. can deal with yes, that. we have. We have done that. I mean, and you know, I love, it when, I love it when she brags on my police department because I really believe we got one of the best police departments in a small town. We're understaffed and they have to work overtime, they have to do so many things, but they're trying hard. I really believe they're You're trying. You're right, Mayor. We have a very dedicated police department, not just in the city, but also in the county. And those Backed up guys and gals, state. oh yeah. my gosh, they need your thanks every chance you get, because they're the ones out there on the front lines risking their lives to make sure that they protect and serve us. Yeah. And I couldn't be happier with the group yes. that I have to work with. Seven years, I've noticed it's gotten worse. Our police officers are, be, are being roughed up. Yeah. They're being shot at. Mm -hmm. They're having guns pulled on them. Mm -hmm. When I took office seven years ago, that wasn't the case. Right. And it's getting worse out there. Yeah. And uh, we, we got to keep keep biting at this crime. Absolutely, you can't Drugs. give up. And, and, well, and, and Mayor, I hate to make it sound like I'm older than you, but I've been at this 12 years, yeah. and you're right. You are older it than is me. getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. I remember her when she was in high school. What did I tell you when you were in high school? I told her she'd be president someday. <laughs> well, you know? yes, you did. But you know what? I think my place is right here in Fayette County, serving my community and being the prosecutor to keep this a safe community for all of us to live in. Absolutely. You know, and, and Betty, I tell you what, uh, as, right before you go to the camera, one thing that I've always been impressed with you is that you've never given up the fight. Never given up the fight. She's on our side. That's right. That's what we got to have because we're in bed at night. She's yep, keeping us safe. Yep, keeping us safe. Speak into that camera and tell them what you want to tell them, Betty. I'm Betty Jones. I'm the Republican candidate for Fayette County prosecutor. I'd like to continue to work hard in the office like I do every day. I'm going to go back to work tomorrow and continue to try to make this community safer for your family and mine. And that's, that's what's important. you got teenage kids, too. I do. I've raised them here, and I'm so happy that I have. Yeah. And they, my last one is a senior. Oh, and yeah. so it's been a, a pretty exciting time the last few years, getting them through high school and on to college. But I hope that on November 4th, you come out and vote and that you make me your next prosecutor. Thanks. Betty Jones, God Thank bless you. you. God bless Thank you. you. Always good seeing you. Always Thanks for coming Thank by you. and seeing us. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah, me. Thank We've you very much. You know, you've seen people when they were this tiny, Leonard. I know it. Yeah, yeah, and they've grown, and now that we're interviewing them. And I know it. I know it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, tell I you can't what. believe it. I can't I, believe it. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Uh, John, this we, is we John. We got John Palsy in front of the camera. Oh, how are you? I, I good to see you. John? Good, good to meet you. <laughs> what are you running for, sir? Uh, I'm, I'm running out of the rain earlier is what I was doing. Is the camera really rolling, or are you faking it? I don't know. We better be rolling, Justin. It better be. Yeah, Justin better be rolling. Okay, what we want to ask you, John. I don't know. What I didn't expect you, no, to No, let's here. ask it. What okay. makes you tick? Yeah, what makes you tick, well, John? Always striving for something better and more. That's that's what makes me tick. Boy, you got two losers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We've had fun. We've had a blast. We love doing this. Yes, we well, do. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I was out there feeding people in, getting rained on when we first started. <laughs> I was soaked. Well, you didn't have to mess your hair up. Anyways, John, I guess my question to you that I've always wanted to ask yeah. is, how come you're not up here enough? Why aren't you in front of the camera? Yeah. I work better behind the camera. That's right, keeping, he keeping things going, making sure things are happening. Do you know right. what a super job he does, oh, he does for a lot our city yes, and our county? Good. Yes. He does a hundred things he's paid Promotional for. Promotional stuff? And he does 500 things he don't get paid for. Yeah. I mean, he's when he wouldn't believe it, the city building. He'll hang a picture for you. He'll just do anything. Whatever needs to be done. He gets it done. And I know he'll be glad to get rid of me as mayor because he has covered from the East Coast to the West Coast. He has covered every kind of thing. There isn't anything we haven't covered on that TV camera. Yeah, that's right. Whatever we need to do, that's yeah. what and we he's, do. He's made things to promote Connorsville. He's made things to promote Fayette County. He's done economic development. Look at the van that we're driving. Yeah, what here. a great van. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Because I remember we had that pull along trailer when I oh, first started seven years ago. Now we, yeah, yeah. Now, now we a lot, lot of people don't know the story behind that van. That, that was an interesting one. Uh, we found a deal on online on that. It was up in uh, oh, right. Chicago. Yeah. It was a used plumber's vehicle. Yeah. It was painted Colts blue, yeah. and it was just beat up. And uh, we brought it back, refurbished it ourselves, uh, and uh, and uh, got it painted locally because uh, we had to, you know, do something with the blue. It was just too yeah, bright. Can't add the blue. And uh, the, the pictures uh, on it. Everything that's yeah. inside that we built ourselves. And you did just didn't you just do a refurbishment here recently? On the inside they upgraded it. Yeah. yeah, updated it? We, we upgraded the computer inside. Oh, that what it was, yeah. But they can pull up to a scene or pull up to something like this tonight. They don't have to have that big right. old long trailer. No. And it's much so easier much. to drive. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know, when I during the ball games, I may say the guys in the truck, well, they're really in the truck. Right, they're, they're really in the, the truck. truck. And, yeah. and they have to stay out there all yeah, the time. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And freeze while freeze. Fran and yeah, I sometimes are Sometimes it's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah while well, Fran and I are inside but the nice you know how much our shut-in people and our people that can't go to the games enjoy? I hear it yes. all the time. They'll yeah. say, we love them ball games on yeah. TV. We love this. We love that. And Fran and I love doing good. it. And, and listen, you and Fran are so good at it. Oh, we love oh it. that Fran and his I'm, silver voice. I'm working yeah. with a pro. Like, yeah. Just like you, I'm working with you. No, no, I, pro. I just love to be with you at the yeah. fair. Now, I, you know we're going to give them something new this Friday. We're going to yes. go out to the Whitewater Racetrack, oh, and we're going to tape race out yes, there. We've never race. done that before. Are you before. taking Fran out there? We yes. are. Oh, we're good deal. There. We don't good know what we're talking about, but we're going to have a good time <laughs> yeah, doing that. And that's going to be fun. About it. You know, we I got don't think soccer. Fran's ever done a race. Yeah, that's no, it. but he's ready. He's, he's ready. ready to go. I, 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 when I worked at the radio station, we did a little Detroit when I did through town. I did that for the radio, but for television, it's going to be a little bit easier because I don't have to call the shots because we're showing it. But it's going to be fun out there. Larry Myers will be out there. He'll be there. You can interview him. He's the voice. Yeah, we're going to interview Larry. Talk to him about it. This, we're actually going to have Larry uh, do some interviews with the drivers ahead oh, of time. Great. So you're going to you're going to be able to work with him on, on some interview work yeah, and stuff. He's going to have a lot time. of fun. What's next on the agenda? It just keeps growing well, bigger. We got and football bigger and bigger. coming up. We've got football here in a, yeah. about two three weeks. Yeah, two basketball, three weeks football, basketball. Yeah. That, 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 that's but football, basketball, and we're going to do some soccer. We, we did some. We can get it in. Yes, we do a lot of away games. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I may mention something we we haven't or not going to do, but but we, I tell you what, really TV three. Um, I'm glad that I've got Comcast cable. If you got Metronet, you can watch on Channel Three. It is. This is a great yep. uh, there, community there's television. There's no other yeah. city that has what we have. I've watched them in other cities. I've talked to mayors. There's no other city, and uh, it it is our community is so well informed on every yes. issue. Sure Just is. like tonight, every person had an opportunity to come here, mm -hmm. yep. tell her story, enjoy yep. the fair, yeah, and yeah. ask if they had chicken. I didn't have chicken. <laughs> Did, Did you have chicken? chicken? I, I didn't get that. Chicken no, is awesome. I came here in the line. That was, was a fundraiser, too. It was past the pool. Did you I have chicken? Yeah. See, See, everybody, everybody had chicken everybody but you. had chicken but me. I, I, I want to tell you, next year when I come here, I'm going to ask you. You call me and I'm coming over. Did you have chicken? We're going to eat together. Let's eat together. We're going to eat together. Okay. Next year, you got yeah. it right here first. Yeah, so. John, yep. publicly, we want to thank you for yes. all you do for oh. this community. Thank you. And uh, uh, we, we hope the community, and we know the community appreciates all that you bring right into their living room, their family room, their bedroom. You, you, you bring I, it to them. I, I hope they do. If, they, if they'd like to see something new, all they got to do is call me, 825-3245, or uh, they can send us an email, uh, info at localtv3.com, and uh, tell us uh, you know some ideas. That I'd love to have some new ideas. We're working on ideas all the time. That's yes, what we want. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Don't I've forget, been a part of it seven years now, and I love it. Connorsville Speaks, we're going to have all the utility, the new utility people. I heard that today. Yes, all that the good. new utility yep. people are going to be there. We're going to talk about our utilities and how it's being run in a different manner, yep. more economical. going to be a great show. August 21st. Is it August 21st? August 21st, yes. That's it. Yes, that is. You're ahead of me. You knew that, I, I didn't. I knew something that you didn't know. Oh, I can't believe well, it. You, you heard I can't it here first. It. Yeah, okay. Well, Thank you very much staff, for doing this tonight. To oh. our staff out yes. there. I can't see them because of the bright lights. Yeah, I can't see them. We know yep. Sydney, uh, the new gentleman. Yeah, that Sydney Toshlog and Joe Minerick. Joe Minerick uh, is Thank here you. tonight. And then uh, we've got uh, Justin, Justin Roberts in the production band. Yep. Poor yep. Justin's probably ready to get out of there. <laughs> he yeah. probably is. How long have we been going tonight? Two hours tonight. Two hours and five minutes. Yeah. This I'll is play. almost like a Santa Claus that's show. Right, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. John, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. Yep. I'll see you Thanks Friday. Thanks a lot. All right. Yeah. See you God Friday. God bless you. And uh, this will be airing sometime the rest of the week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. So hey. Today now. <laughs> this is Ronnie Wiley at the fair. This is Leonard Urban at the fair. And we're glad to be here. We love the fair. That's right. We'll see you next year. See you next year.